recording real quick? Yeah, we'll do on site because like we don't have a we definitely don't have a full group for for coils. Um, I was thinking if we had a full group, we could uh, actually have to refresh my days, my time, my days to play. If we had a full group, I was like, okay, maybe we can we can do it like for real, for real. You know what I mean? But we don't have enough people, unfortunately. One day, I try to think in Russian to practice a bunch, but it's hard. Otherwise, it's a mixture of all things. When I get tired, I switch back to Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. I have the same thing. I don't know. I wonder if that'll ever change if I if I live here long enough. Keeping true to the twelve hours. Did you think I wasn't Sundas? Did you think I was gonna? Did you think I was gonna be weak, and I was gonna cut it short? I would never do that. <laughs> I'm still probably gonna stream tomorrow too. Haha. -ha. I should probably actually move. Should I move my face? Does it matter? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it's fine. Is it fine? It's never fine, Gen Z. But if I if I move here. I switch my face around. I'll look weird. It somehow looks strange if you mirror yourself. Ah, now that definitely looks weird. Like if I didn't look like this, it somehow it looks really weird. I don't know why, but it does. Can you deal with it? Can you deal with me looking weird? <laughs> Japanese verbs are a dream. No conjugation. Very few irregular. I love it when you start to dream in a language you're learning. I think in Japan they also shorten a lot of things. Like, um... Like, they usually use names to refer to people instead of their anything else. I sometimes mess up numbers in Dutch because of the way they do numbers in English. <laughs> I... Yo, I've started to do that because I'm like, oh, 42, and then I'm going, to, now I'm going back to Dutch and it's like, 24, wait. No. No. That's not right. 42. And like it starts to sound. We it sounds it starts to sound off. It starts to sound like it's wrong. Oh no! I switched around everything. Hold on. Now you can't read your own names. Oh, there I am again. I will only f swap around my face because that was weird. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Don't think I didn't. I saw that. <laughs> I don't usually- I don't shout out people for following because I know people don't want to get shouted out, which is why I don't have a little hair for it. Thank you anyway. Because <laughs> now I saw you. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't see you. It's fine. But yes, I totally- I know the struggle there. I know the struggle. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, um, somebody wanted an invite to the link shell as well, and I don't know if you're still on online or not. So, wh which one of y'all? would like to come to do the coils. Uh, like I said, most of them you can solo. There's only some you can't. Maybe above your hot bars on the right under quest tool tip. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm good, right? I'm, I'm trying to like kind of cover this chat. Not really, a little bit, <laughs> I don't know. Bombing is crystal, yeah, I'm sorry. One day though, maybe, uh, maybe it's already on launch. I don't think it's on launch for End Endwalker, is it? Um, they'll allow you to go cross realm, cross data center. So I, I should say, <laughs> funny good stream time for Australia. Ha! We'll keep this one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I feel like almost I should I should uh, stream of the weekend every so often when I have like a little bit of time. Oh, welcome back, Raven. Did Stardew Valley have an update or something? Yes. It now looks like this. <laughs> Nederlands, my English design is Nederlands are echt Well, yeah. here's the thing. I think it sounds better if when you use a zachte G. So I think Belgium, Vlaams, sounds better actually, weirdly. Because it's so soft. And because I lived in North Brabant, I already have zachte G. A little bit. Okay, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, keepers. Also for the person who, um, Asked about the syncing. So what you do is over. I'll. Hmm, should I show you my? I should show you. I feel like I should show you. You can't see my my mouse button right now. Ah, I got you. I only have one link shell. It's okay. <laughs> so you press the open duty finder settings, right? It's in the top left. Do you, I hope you see it. 
And then you just click Undersized Party. And then you can go in with as many people as you like. Obviously you can't do roulettes that way. And it won't sync your level. You can just do whatever you want, just the way you are. French numbers go wacky at 70, 60, 10, 60, 11, 4 tenths, 4 27. Who made those up? Okay, I, like when I when I had time, uh, when I have time. Well, the Tower of Ponacuca! Yes, but um Pancakes are tasty though. I'm a heathen from above the rivers. I'm I was born above the rivers. I was born in Omsylvain. But we moved when I was like seven. One day I will play more Final Fantasy XIV when I have more space. Yes. You ever notice that button? Yeah, you can you can do a lot more with it as well if you want. Like, if you want to get yourself an, um, an actual challenge for old things, then you can level sync, minimum eye level, silence echo, etc. Like, you can make it as hard as you want. Which is nice. I did finish Shadowbringers. Yes, I've been done with pretty much everything. I, I really don't think there's anything left in Shadowbringers anymore. I've done all the quests, all the unlocks, all of the everything. Um, I haven't done any savage raiding in... Shadowbringers, which I'm kind of salty about a little bit. Well, that's actually not true. I've done a little bit of Savage Raiding, but I've definitely not done a lot. Vriesland? Oh. Gezellig. <laughs> actually, we're not that far away in that case. How much did you cry? Yo, I even cried. <laughs> so I cried in general, but then we did we did the Eden Raid. We did that one on stream. I was like, okay, well, we haven't done, we haven't done Eden yet. Um, I kind of want to unlock it, so let's go and do that. And then they did the whole thing. I don't want to spoil this in case somebody hasn't done this yet, but there's this point where the two girlfriends are having like memories and stuff. Don't worry, Cora, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not doing it. But there's a moment where the girlfriends are, you know, the whole memory thing with uh, the dark haired girlfriend. And I wept on stream while doing a raid. I was trying not to die. I was in this raid for the first time and I just sat there like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an emotional child, I really am. All my characters are in Primal Data Center. Well, soon, soon we will be Cross Realm. What Shadowbringers Resistance Relic did you get? I got the one for, uh, actually for my Red Mage. Um, that's the one I got far the furthest now. What I'm doing, I'm still on these. This is the last part I need for those. I already did the Zone 1 and Zone 2 ones. But Zone 3, critical events almost never spawn. So I've just been sitting there like... I'm trying to spawn one. Please, please stop spawning them elsewhere. I was like killing the Cavaliers and alone. <laughs> so I was trying to do those, but I've actually been trying to get pretty much all of them. Um, as you can see by my inventory, I've just been, I have every single quest step pretty much open so that whenever I do anything, I get part of the quest. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, you got, oh, here you go. Do I have you? Oh, I can't do that from here. I have to send you a friend request first, but I was going to ask if, if, I, if I could do that anyway, which I'm sure I could, Keepers. I'm sure I could. Already. I, I never notice when I get tells. Um, specifically because it's like a light green and it doesn't give me a sound. Which is great. And there you go. That works. Okay, so uh, is it just Karnark, Kor, and me? Or did anybody else want to go do some coils. Otherwise, I'm going to queue up. Uh, we'll go from the start. I've already obviously done a bunch. I haven't done Nail because I couldn't solo it. I finished that questline two days ago. It's brutal. I know. Oh my god, it took me so long. I just couldn't, I didn't want to go. But like this one, it should almost be done after that, right? What's left after those steps? What do you still have to do? Uh, not, not that much. Uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it from the start if you want to go, Ark. All the way from the start. Are you online, Tamwin? Do I have you on my friends list? I'm actually not sure. Because I'm not... Um, and yes, we are watching cutscenes and things like that. Do what you like. I'm in an EU data center. Oh. Well, actually, they did say that maybe at one point they'd even allow those cross faction? Cross realm? Cross? I guess there's no cross faction here. You farm Dalriata and you're done? Oh, that's easy. That's easy. I've already been doing that. I still have to farm Dalriata because I don't have the, the two um, cards for that one. That one and one from zone one are the last three I need. You get emotions from Dalriata. 70 dentures and something I forgot. I 
said that it's like I'm gonna cry when I do Dalriada. <laughs> I mean, I probably would, let's be honest. I might. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's everyone then. Going once, going twice. How shall I go? Yeah, I'll be I'll be me. Actually we have a we have a tank, so it's fine. Oh! Oh, there you are. I'm gonna send requests too. Would you like to be in the um in the link shell as well? Miss Vangerberg? <laughs> I don't have any raids unlocked yet. Uh you need the binding coil of Bahamut um unlocked. Do you have that one? The one that I'm on right now. You don't need the second coil parts, that's fine. Just the, the first one, the first turn is what you start with. Which I don't think is actually very long to unlock. And don't don't worry too much about needing to heal or to tank or to whatever, you'll be totally fine. It's long but efficient. It is, it is, yeah. But it's why I've also, I tried not to go too hard on the farming there because I knew I still needed it. I can't even do that. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna queue, y'all. Don't be scared. Okay, so everyone has it. It's fine. Okay, so don't skip your cutscenes. Watch your cutscenes. Enjoy yourself. Etc. and so forth. This is a really good story. And like mute me while you do that, because I obviously talk I'm talking through it, so I'll be very annoying. Sudden is really busy on my server. It is sometimes for me, but other times it isn't. And whenever it isn't, for some reason, I um, I go to Eureka instead, and then Eureka has busy. <laughs> because I am still trying to do Eureka as well, and I'm getting there. I haven't even maxed my level yet, but I really, I really, really want to do the raid there as well. And I, it takes such a long time to unlock, but I really want to do it. Can't imagine times with only one emotion. <laughs> okay, I'll I will wait. Wait right here. We're not rushing ahead today. If you want to skip scenes playing Final Fantasy, you should not play. Exactly, exactly, Helheimer. And I feel like uh, that's also kind of why I want to do it with um with like the people in the stream because I don't want them to have, feel rushed. I want people to be able to watch their cutscenes and not feel like they're holding up the group or whatever, you know. Especially when it's like something so important as this. The stream turned out to be a bit of a meetup place for duchies. Uh, like attracts like, I guess. We had quite a few already anyway, because especially because I used to play or I used to stream in, in at I guess Dutch times. Cause I would stream at 8 p.m. or something. That's when I started, 8 p.m. Dutch time. When I still lived in the Netherlands, obviously. Oh, Ark is done before everyone else. Did you accidentally press escape? I hope not. I mean, in the... You can always rewatch it, don't worry. If you accidentally pressed escape, you can rewatch. You speed read! Okay, okay, sorry. I'm that way with any game. I don't ever skip cutscenes. Yeah, but like a lot of the times, um, if you do this with randoms. <laughs> Keepers! Thank you so much! No, you! Absolutely, you. I get this, I get this from a lot of people, where they play Final Fantasy, and even if they're with a group who says, oh, don't worry about it, you can watch cutscenes, they'll still feel a little bit pressured because there are people that they don't know. So, you know, if I can bring people here with me, there's no pressure. Which is great. Turns out me and Hugo Akif live in the same city, really? <laughs> what, in the, what in the hell coincidences? You're still in Stardew? Am I? Oh god, I am. I updated that. That's weird. I'm sorry. I up I swear I updated the category. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. No one else tells me things. Is that why the joke was Stardew Valley looks different now? Y'all need to be way more forward with me. Especially when I've been streaming for like nine hours. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't notice. Even same neighborhood at some point. Are you actually long lost brothers? Don't tell me randoms make you skip it. I feel like they never do. Like I never, I've never really been in a group where people were like, oh, skip it. I, well, no, that's a lie. I've been in a group like that once. And they were like, oh, just skip it. You can rewatch it later. 
But it's like, no, this is, they're following the story, leave them alone. That's just mean. Like, whenever you're new and someone's trying to really, f like, feel their way through the story, and then someone gets on your case where, where they tell you to go into the inn to check the story. Like, if they're a new player, they might not even know how to rewatch. You know what I mean? Because you have to go into the inn, and you have to go and to the, the story thingy, the little book in the back. And if you don't know about that, well, then how are you going to rewatch anything? You can't. I should do this as um, mage, or as dancer, I think. That's probably a better idea. Faster idea, maybe? Everything dies in two seconds anyway. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll queue as dancer. And then later on I'll do it as red mage. So my red mage is still stronger. And if you, if you want to go and look at something, by the way, guys, because like, I'm obviously kind of storming ahead, if you want to look at something on the side or whatever, go go ahead. I will wait in front of the boss in case you want to see something else. Let people enjoy the story. No, exactly, exactly. Once I was in a dungeon and a party already killed the boss before I finished the cutscene. Yeah, that happens a lot, unfortunately. Um, which is also why, in the main scenario, they made it so that you couldn't skip cutscenes. Because that way, you couldn't ruin it for the newer players. And I, I thought, I'm kind of glad for that. I still think it probably could use a little bit of adjustment. But, yes. Snick, yes. A lot of the early ones, you'll, you'll start to notice this. A lot of the early bosses here are just trash, mostly. <laughs> Kate, hi! Welcome back! Thank you for the resub through the good graces of, of sin. I will, if, if you are interested in the... I will open them here. If you're interested in these and you're wondering... Um, these tomes are just for crafting things, so don't worry about those if you're not interested in crafting. How are you doing, Kate? Welcome in! How are you doing? I know, I know, it's been like nine hours, and I'm definitely starting to feel a lot more tired. <laughs> it's okay, I'm, I'm taking some friends through the coils of Bahamut, as you do. As Dutch as one can be, well, <laughs> are you sure? I have to listen to the old voices. Oh my god, the voices in the main scenario, Sid especially, is so <laughs> grating. All right, Ark! Have a good one, buddy! <laughs> don't worry about it. If you actually, if you want to get your roulettes in, we have, I don't know how much time everyone else has. I could also do the roulettes with you. I could do that. <laughs> and where's my ready check? Did I have a ready check? I did. I did have a ready check. There we go. Very nice. Considering my ancestor comes from Antwerp, okay. You don't know. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we go fast. It, you know, don't worry about it. We go fast. If you still have uh, things left to do, then we can always do that after Bahamut as well. There's actually a bunch of stuff I haven't seen in Bahamut yet, so... Like I said, I watched most of it on YouTube because I could not contain myself. I have roulettes to do. Do you want to do roulettes, Core? I don't know how everyone's feeling about roulettes right now. Because we don't... we have a party of five. <laughs> that point. So this one is really kind of mini boss after mini boss, mostly. My ancestors are from Yugoslavia, Turkey, so we're not we're no long lost brothers. Okay, spiritually, you're spiritually uh, long lost brothers. It still counts. I don't think there's- yeah, no, there's no cutscenes here. Look at my shiny weapon! Oh, never mind. Will likely be too late in the night? Yeah, I figured as much. I- cause like, uh, there's- most people here are from Europe in the party? Somehow! <laughs> Y'all are still awake! How? 
Oh, right, I was gonna queue as my dancer, wasn't I? Okay, well, we'll t <laughs> next time. Just for movement. Easy. Okay. I don't actually have to- I can just do this. I don't even have to open anything. But yeah, so this is what a lot of the turn one Coil of Bahamut is from. <laughs> it's just you rushing through. <laughs> Literally. Where's my dancer? There you are. Don't I look nice? I do look nice. Here's for Concy! Oh, really? Is it actually vacation there? I'm actually not sure. I'm, uh, I'm in Canada now. I don't know. Even though it's a 12 hour stream, I'm really able, happy to, <laughs> to be able to catch one of your streams. Ah, buddy. Well, you'll have to catch the podcasts at least. <laughs> we are the insomniacs. I'm going to bed straight after stream, but y'all better do too. Somehow my Russian, Swedish, and Dutch friends stay up so late to game. I know! And I shouldn't be surprised, because I used to do that as well. So, it's not that late in Europe. Yes, it is! What time is it? Pizza? What time is it? It's like six hours ahead, I think. It's only 1 a.m. Don't worry about it. I feel like that's quite late. Oh, Beatrix is still awake too! I ah, damn. Time works different. Like, we feel, we don't feel tired somehow. I don't really think anyone in the flock is really close to where I live, other than Jinzi, who I think lives in southern Ontario. I do, yeah. I do indeed. I'll for sure set an alarm for the podcast when they happen. I'll try to, I'll try to, like, not put it too late or too early. We'll figure out a proper time. Also, uh, I don't actually... I need to put the ready check on here again. I forget. Let's see if, if people are... Because I don't know how long this cutscene is, so... Okay, not that long. Never mind. Turn three it is. This one, I always get lost in this one. Like, at first, it'll shoot me back somewhere and where I'm not supposed to go. Ash Lizzle brought me here. Ash, how's Ash doing? Did she win? Of course she did. She always wins. She stay winning. Ash is a gem. Final Fantasy Corporation. We do have cards, technically. Technically, we have cards. Always winning, exactly, exactly. Trusty parrot. Wait, I guess a parakeet, not parrot. Close enough. I have no idea what you're talking about as a sweet. Same energizer. I've actually, I've been decent with um, going to bed. To a point. <laughs> to a point. Whoop. Go on, activate. Thank you. So, uh, technically speaking, you have to kill all of these. So this, this is the, um, the trash. It's not necessarily an encounter. As much as it is, um, trash. And if you step on these lights, that's what activates where you go. And where you want to go is pretty much always through the ring. So you step on that, it activates, and you go again. And that's that's it. That's the whole encounter. You, you, you're you gonna say you're joking. I'm not joking. Then you'd click the silent terminal, and, and that's it. Um, <laughs> did y'all, y'all go back? <laughs> okay, wait a second. Wait, well, let's wait for everybody else. Kids? Kids? My children? Are you here? Good night, pizza! Oh, there you are. Okay, okay. Come here. Come here. There we go. I was like, <laughs> I miss you all here. Gore has sped ahead. There you go. Like I said, always go through the rings. As you can see, it's already set to going through the rings. So you just stand on it and you go. And that's always down. Basically, the opposite is just to go back, basically. Well, I guess that makes sense. Sometimes I have to hurt my children a little. Um, also, if you're wondering, you will sometimes get these as like a quest for your book. Uh, I ignore all the trash. I usually just zoom through here and that's it. I just zoom through because I can't be bothered to kill anything. And you really don't have to because they're very slow. They will keep following you, just so you know. 
they will absolutely keep following you. But that's okay. They can't really catch you. I mean, they can try. They can definitely try to catch you. It's mostly the golems, really. The golems, the guard, the terminals. So I'll usually one-shot those. And then you're good. Thank you. Like, if you don't know where to go anymore, just go to the only place you haven't gone. I know, I know. Coils must be something else when it was current content. Oh, bet. Bet that it was. But that's also kind of why I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it like hard mode. Does that make sense? I feel like I wanted to do it hard mode. I just don't really have people um, with the gear for it, so I think we'll one day do that as like a, a little bit of a thing for just us. And I also want to still farm all the mounds, so I have- there's so much I want to do! So little time! Is there falling damage in Final Fantasy? Uh, there is, but not the way you think. So you can fall from any height. Any height you like, and you won't die, unless you're in combat. If you're in combat, you will die. Uh, I think it's the left side, but do not... <laughs> do not pin me down on that one. <laughs> Weird rule, I know. I mean, I, I, I kind of get it, because you don't want to really deal with... Oh, I'll let you click that. Here, you click that. I will slap things. We're done! <laughs> That's it! That was the whole thing! <laughs> I know, this is like one of the weirdest raids, honestly, in general. I think they, like, with the falling damage rule, they just wanted to make sure that you weren't cheesing it. Which I kind of get. Okay, turn four... Turn five is Twintania, I think. Is that turn tw- Is that turn five? I think it is. I think it is. I'm ahead of Ontario. It's 5.09. It's 7.11. Hold on. 5.09 in the morning? Because it's it's like almost a quarter past 7 in the, in the evening here. No, BM. Then we're ahead of you. Where are you from Brabant? Are you from? Nor Brabant. Unless you weren't asking me, which, fair enough. But like, I'm in Canada now. I am I live in Canada now, so I live in Ontario. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, we've been weird about it earlier. Are they paying a lot of money to go to a trampoline house? We get it for free! In fact, we get rewards for it. Again, I have no idea how long the cutscenes are anymore, so I'm just doing like a random ready check every so often. Is the follow-up quest in Mordona? I think so? I'm actually not sure. It's been actual years since I've done this. Or like, what? since I picked it up, I guess I should say. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll usually tell you. Because I think the last one is like an ending quest. So as long as you're watching the cutscenes, so don't worry. Okay, so this one is another weird one. Um, it's more trash. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of trash. And they just, they keep on keeping on. You go down and there's trash and then there's more trash and then suddenly you're done. It's fun. Trust me, the Twintania one is at least a little bit more interesting. Oh, there's actually a cutscene playing? Oh my god. Uh, I'm confused as to why they make the mobs go already. Could I have ignored the mobs? I'm actually not sure. I was like, can, can I? I did not expect a cutscene there. Rip. Mordona or Vesper Bay? One of the two? I forgot where it was. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to uh, watch more of it once I... Once I got my coil. Did you do coils yet, uh, Kate? Because I'm actually not sure how much you've done, like, raid-wise. Have you done... Have you done the eating raids? I feel like you probably have.
because this one is very old, but I think Yoshi actually said uh, before Endwalker it was worthwhile to do these for the story because it's going to be important. Oh, I should probably actually spend those. Hiccup. Hiccup again. I've been stuck on 2,000 tomes for a while now. Big energy, very big. My mind just now is like, do I go to Mordona? Yeah, I do. You just said doing coils and Omega is advice to do before Endwalker? Yeah, and we haven't done Omega together yet either. I've done all of Omega. Um, those were actually quite fun. Oh no, this is not where I was gonna go. I guess it doesn't matter. I wanted to do special arms. What is it that I needed so much for? for? I guess I need a bunch of Umbrite either way. I think it's Ether Oil. But I need Umbrite either way, so I'll just pick that up. It's in the Waking Sands? Oh no. <laughs> well, I guess, um, pray return, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. See ya, Ark! Have fun, enjoy, or a good night, whichever. Whichever's gonna happen. I think probably good night. And then, um, yeah, there's still a turn five for second coil as well. Is there? I'm actually not sure. This one I haven't done. Because she kicks my ass. What can I say? Oh god, my voice is really starting to feel it. If I start to sound like an old lady, halfway through, it's not my fault. <laughs> okay, a little bit my fault. I was gonna look at something and I don't remember what it was. Oh, no, now it's too late. Was it five? Did we need five? Yes. Maybe? Yeah, it is. Okay, I was like, did I skip four? No, I didn't. We start talking Dutch. Fun for everyone. Yeah, so this is the Twintania one. I should have actually gone here as Red Mage. The ability to speak for 12 hours. Please. Good night, Beatrix. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Was it challenge? No. Oh, I remember. There's another cutscene here. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I can't walk forward too much either, because it'll spawn the dragon, so I'll just... Oh, wait. I don't like the fact that I can talk for long periods of time without my voice walking up. Why don't you like that? That's perfect! That's fantastic! Are you kidding? I would not mind if you shared. I should upgrade this one. That's what I should be doing. Oh, I'm a ridiculous raven! Talking is great. Bahamut is big. Yes! Yes, yes! Oh, you have no idea how big. He is the biggest lad. My voice can kind of go after a couple of hours. My, my voice kind of already started going after the first, like, four hours? That's why we have these? Wait, wait, wait! Wait, Cor! Wait! Wait, Cor! Wait! Oh god, I have nothing to stop him, do I? Wait for the rest to come out of cutscene, because when you walk too far down, you see the dragon show up. And I want everyone to see it. Okay. Okay, now you can go. You can see the dragon show up. <laughs> well, he didn't know that. There. Another cutscene. Anyway, yeah, my voice has been gone for a while. This one was actually kind of annoying to do if you were 70. Just so you know, 70 was still a thing. I should dance with somebody. But I haven't danced with anybody. I'm assuming she'll die in seconds here, because she already dies really fast when it's just me. 
Oh, I haven't even used my thing. There we go. No matter, no matter. I think she might drop something interesting. The reason I'm fine with doing a 12-hour call with Energizer is because my voice can last that long. Mine cannot. I think that one looks neat. Ish. Ish. <laughs> if I stay here, I'll also know whether they're done or not. Um, um. Also, if you don't want to walk all the way over here, you could just press leave for the duty menu. Unless you have a quest, in which case don't. <laughs> for obvious reasons. I still have tomatoes. I could eat more of those. Or a cheesecake. <laughs> it's like, no, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, I think that might be a cutscene after, but I'm not sure. I think we can be a red mage again now. I think it's worth. All oh, right, you gotta go pick up a second coil. My bad. I totally forgot about that. I'll be right here, looking at my coins. I don't talk very much, so my voice isn't used to talking quite a bit. I talk a lot, and somehow my voice is still like, mm. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know how voices work because I don't actually talk that much. In fact, Jinzi would talk more than me just because streaming and making videos. Um, well, like I said, I think it also depends on what your native language is. In fact, again, if I could speak Dutch, it would never be an, a problem, I think. That would be completely fine. Does anybody else have like a million lost bubbles? Is it just me? I feel like it's not just me. I also think there is a achievement for this. Isn't there? I think. Hold on. Was it this one? Was this the last one? Maybe it was. Oh, I've just barely done that one. How hard is Delibrim Regine Savage? Is that one hard? I kind of want to do that one too. Hmm. That's a lot of doing the Dalriada, but I guess if you're doing... If you're doing your artifacts anyway... I'm definitely gonna have that one eventually. And I still don't have that one. Okay, you know what? I feel like I'm close. That languages play a part? Yeah, apparently they do. I didn't know for a really long time either. But here we are. Oh, actually, while we do this, let me go pick up. I because I've got to do this. It's more annoying, but isn't that much difference, really? Masochist raid, if you will. If if everyone has maximum emblems and like proper potions, would it be a cakewalk? Probably not. I've only started talking more because of my roommate, and my first language is English, so it's a little strange how fast my voice grades. Well, if you, if you never talk much, then it makes a little bit of sense. I would like a new journal, please, because I've ruined the last one. I forgot about it. If normal is a pain in the ass, Savage is pain incarnate. Normal's not that bad. Here's the thing. I've done it a few times now, and it depends so much on your group. If you have a half-competent group, honestly, it's kind of a cakewalk. Oh, I still want to do it, though. You get something cool from it, don't you? Did I just see that wrong? Did you get a mount? Yeah. You get the Cerberus mount, right? See, this is the one I want. The demi Ozma mount. From clearing the Baldesian arsenal, but oh my god. It takes a while, I'll tell you that. I don't even have a skirmisher yet. I've been I've been slow. I'm sorry. One day. 
Also, Cora, let me know when, when you're done, because if you're done, I'll do a ready check. I got Gabriel Man yesterday in Dele Delibrum. That's the random drop, right? I think I have that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, and there's two Gabriels. I think it's this one. I don't really love how they look. They're okay. I like when they like flipped flip together. I think that's neat. But I still like my horse better. <laughs> big head. Well, yes, Karnork, it's a big dragon. We just had a cutscene with Bahamut's head. Okay, okay. You should be getting there in that case. I'm on to town here for quills and did it once, but my group didn't know what to do, so we didn't beat it. Uh, we're just doing it unsynced. Or unsynced. Undersized. There we go. I guess also unsynced in that case. Haven't found any mount I like. Just got back into Final Fantasy XIV two months now. I have just been using this one. And I don't think I'm going to change it because I really like it. I really like this one. Although, fun fact. You actually technically need to do more for this one. Um... But for some reason, where is it? I think it's this one who's the is the rarest. Basically, the one where you have to do feasts. I guess because everyone hates doing feasts, which is fair enough. How can I convince my girlfriend to play Stardew Valley with me? Uh, it depends on what she likes. If she doesn't like video games, we can't really do anything about it. Show her how cozy it is. Show her a nice looking farm. Show her you petting chickens. Romancing Sebastian. Or in case she likes women, um, romancing at this point Sophia, because she's cute. She's cute as heck. I'm just saying. You're doing saying, well, listen. Do each your own. I don't have a team to do that with. Listen, you go, why not both? Why not both? I'm just saying. I'm not saying, but I am saying. Oh, I should actually take these. I keep forgetting to pick these up, and I should pick these up. Because of my... What is it? My artifacts. I have a whole list of things I need for artifacts. And I already did a leveling roulette earlier, and that means I s did I screw it up? I guess I did. Oh well. As you can see, I'm also hard at work for Eureka. I'm doing it with randos. Um, that would that would explain a lot. Probably due to the fact I only really like women. See, I swing both ways, so it's easy for me. I like them all. <laughs> But I'm going for Sophia now, because Sophia's cute. Plus, I already married Sebastian in my other save, so I technically can have them all. While you guys do that, I'm gonna hang out in the gold saucer. I don't need the gold saucer anymore, mind you. I just like being there. I don't have a problem. I don't. I can quit whenever I want. And Sophia, yes. Yeah, and extended. She's cute! Have you seen her? She's cute. <laughs> I want to collect all the triple tried cards. Which is another reason to do Eureka, by the way. Because you have to unlock, like, a, a guy. Who's at the end of the quest. And he also has... More triple tried cards. Because of course he does. But I won't tell you who it is yet, because that's spoilers. Mmm. Oh, nothing? Rip. I'll take 1k. I can't be mad. Oh man, okay. I get nothing. And I guess... I guess I don't need those. Do -do 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 -do. What do I do with my leftover MGP? Is there anything you can do with it? I don't think so, right? I guess... I guess gambling it away. Why would you gamble it away? Let's see if there's a triple try turn on going home. 
if you look at it from another perspective, Ab Abigail is actually a cute girl with daddy issues. That's why a lot of guys like Abigail, I think. Is that a fact? <laughs> I don't know. I think she's sweet. Oh no, there's no tournament going on next week. I still do need things from that one. And I need the umbrella from that one, but that one takes a while. You already have a SNES! Yeah, that's the only reason why, though. No other reason. Boy. Do, 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 do. I can't tell if they're sneaking or not. It's technically an RP realm, so... She could be. I also have wings. Let me take out my wings. I haven't taken those out in a while. There. Aren't I pretty? Tell me I'm pretty. Thank you. You know what? It kind of matches. I kind of... Mm, I kind of like it. It's just too bad that you can't use any of these fashion accessories anywhere outside of just like the regular world. Like you can't use them in dungeons or anything. Just just here. So you're just here with your wings like... I feel like I'm kind of the epitome of I can be your angle or I can be your demon. <laughs> Am I too old? Is that an older and too old of a joke now? It might be. Yeah, I got nothing left to do, I'm sorry. Well, technically. It's like everyone is befriended with Arnold because Arnold has a PlayStation 2? I was gonna say, wait. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Fair enough, if he has a PlayStation 2. I don't know. I had a PlayStation 2, nobody wanted to be my friend, so I don't know. I don't know if that's true. They should want to be my friend for my PlayStation 2. Okay, cover your ears. Thank you. I'm sure you all did. Mm. Hmm. Tomatoes. Are you in bed already, pizza? Okay, I say already, but what I mean is... Finally, you're in bed! Do 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 We'll go do in some of these. You know what? I'm gonna go see how the fashion challenge feels about me. At this point, they should think I'm very pretty. Wait, it even turns off when you're just using the etherite? Okay, well that's illegal. You really can barely use them anywhere. Maybe they'll change that in the future. Hello, Kasumi. She's like, hmm. You don't really try anymore, do you? No. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't need it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm still streaming tomorrow as well. But I'll probably make hot chocolate. Before I do. In the morning? Yes. Hot chocolate in the morning. You can't be mad at me. I've ruined my voice today. I'm gonna ruin it some more tomorrow. Passion is everywhere, even upon the field of battle. Obviously. This man knows that's really soul's fashion. That's the end game. Alright, alright, alright. He still thinks I look okay. Fair enough. A satisfactory effort. I didn't put any effort in. What are you talking about? I'm just here for the free 10k. Usually I get 60-90 before core, so I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong here. Okay, it's, it's just you so far, Karner. We'll give it we'll give it some time. I'll eat more tomatoes. Oh. I was going to get more MGP, wasn't I? Because we might not have anything to spend it on. Hello, Kiner. <laughs> to spend it on right now. But I'm sure 
once Endwalker runs around, there will be something to spend it on, right? Like a new cool wolf? Or something that requires like two million? No, I don't think so. You know, a way to strike fear into any <laughs> into any warrior of light. Oh, okay, go on. I actually jokes on you. Really like that song, and I don't mind him either. Mostly, it's because it sounds like the Nightmare Before Christmas. And I really like the Nightmare Before Christmas! Am I felt- I don't know, am I? I hope so. In my heart, I always am. I hate that trial with a passion, why? Is it because it's technically uh, largely a trash trial? Literally? On extreme, it's kind of annoying. I'll, I'll give it that, I'll give it that. There's tomato in my teeth. This is the only downside. Tomato in my teeth. Are you a person? Oh, you are. He's named Party Foul. Oh my god. How are you doing, Velch? How's life? Let me see where the rest of them are. Okay, we're getting there. There's still tomato in my teeth. I think the solution is to eat another tomato. A good one, though. Not a weird one. Sprouts keep killing everyone besides with a hat. This is why you always queue as DPS. Every time. So you can be the solution. It always works out. Okay, there we go. Let us go. Oh. Wow. One of your party members does not meet the requirements for this duty? Why? Wait, 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 what? What do you mean? Y'all just unlocked it, right? It says one of you doesn't, or hasn't? Well, thank you, stranger. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You just been chilling? Oh yeah, it, on a, you know, same. <laughs> We should have watched Nightmare Before Christmas for one of the spooky, spooky movie nights. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna watch it before Christmas. I'm typing with my tongue out of my mouth. So what does it mean? Of course, like, wait, I never actually picked it up. <laughs> It's fair. It's fine. I hate Titan and any boss with an edge that you can get pushed off. So Leviathan also? Once you know how it works, though. I'm a white mage and omnicrafter. Aw. Okay, uh, well, you know what? White mage is kind of a DPS. Blair that, that pom. <laughs> I think, I think Cora forgot to pick up the actual turns. I've been power leveling a friend using a pen. I- I'm sorry, I'm just imagining you chasing your friend with an actual cooking pan after you said that? Got a meditation- mediation? Medi I'm gonna assume it's meditation. App ad for, for insomnia. I feel targeted. They know you're awake, and you, they know you shouldn't be. A green mage, exactly! You be doing a lot of damage. Don't underestimate us. Leviathan is much better than Titan. Depends on your group. Depends on your group. <laughs> Makes a bonk noise when you auto attack. Does it actually? I would like it to. What does my pan look like? Yeah, that would bonk. That's a bonk pan. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna have a pan. I'll be honest. What's the What's the other thing I have? Oh, okay. Yes. All right. I look very dashing, thank you. Where are you? There you are. Get to somewhere with an emery and give it a try? Somewhere with an emery? Enemy. Oh, an enemy! Is that what you- Okay, sorry. I, I don't know when it's autocorrect. Donk. 
I stare at Leviathan more under any circumstances. But at least on Titan, only a few people would get pushed off. Mostly. But in Leviathan, if you don't press the thing fast enough, everybody dies. Tempted to do slices right. I mean... Core is still busy. Good, I'll just invite you back after. I can't do it as a leader, though. I don't know how long Core is gonna be, so... I guess it depends. <gasps> don't press plunge on Leviathan when the middle platform is not there. To be fair, that's only on the second Leviathan? There we go. All good. Ooh, we both have horns, Karnork. Demonic twins. Anyway, these are a little different. I have not really done second coil much. I just went and unlocked everything as we go. Which means it's all very soloable. Until you get to Nail Van Darnus, who hits like a truck all of a sudden. Um, and has like other abilities. But since there's four people here. Yeah. Did you, did you skip a cutscene, Core? I'm the tank brother. I'm the everything brother, I guess. Considering. The power of the Echo! Good for us. Hello, Lunar Gollum friends. Hey, if anything, this is great for elegant tombstones of Poetic. Actually, actually, uh, for the people that are here that are usually playing Final Fantasy with us, um, the Moogle tombstones are going to be a thing again soon. So if any of you would like to farm with us, we're probably going to spam trials. Because if you have a if you have a pre-made party, then spamming trials is a lot faster than doing the main story quest. So we're going to do that instead to get everything we need. And they'll go home satisfied. But it's something you don't miss and miss from the Netherlands. Something I miss is like, there's a lot of things, to be honest, like better roads, being able to bike places, um, actually lights, because uh, there's a lot less lighting here. Because there's many, many roads, I guess. I'm assuming is why. Those are only some of the things. Also the fact that you have like little town centers, whereas here it's like gigantic neighborhood. Center with malls. Gigantic neighborhood. Like it's all like zoned up like that. I miss that. Things I don't miss. Ah. <sighs> What don't I miss? What what don't I miss? I don't think there really is anything, I'll be honest. I don't think there's anything but I was like, oh wow, I'm glad that's gone. <laughs> Maybe I'll think of something the longer I live here. I never know. See ya, Jeff! If my ho my voice holds up. I don't know. I'm hoping it does. Starting to crack on the sides. Uh, Mogul tombstones are like, uh, they have events every so often. If I tell you, you'll know exactly what I mean. The events where it's like, oh, you're doing main, main scenario quest and you get 10 Mog stones and you can trade them in for like mounts and pets and riding maps. And it's usually like two different mounts again. Everyone just meets at the mall. Yes, actually. Wait, have you never been around for- how long have you been playing, Eliza? For some reason I thought you'd been playing forever. Maybe you weren't, I don't know. I'm sorry, I assumed. See, that wasn't that easy. Uh, this is literally only the second time I do these. Or I have done these. Do you look nice? Not really. Goodbye. Very soon I'm gonna start seeing cutscenes. Turn two. I think most of y'all were already trying to get out. That's right. I quit after Realm Reborn and then started like two and a half months ago. Oh! 
Oh, okay, no, so you might not have seen them then. Yeah, so I usually go to Gridania. And in Gridania, there's a little... Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna teleport there right now. I'm gonna show you where it usually is. Where I usually go. Okay, hold on, let me teleport for quick. Let me do a coil and then show you. It's really good for, like, if you want to farm mounts, because some of the mounts that are on there are really annoying to get if you don't do it with the tombstone. You, you already saw him in the background. It's the itinerant Mughal. A Mughal lad. You should still be able to see um, pretty much everything that they sell. No cutscene here, really? Interesting. Yeah, usually how people farm it is they will queue for uh, the random main story quest and just AFK it for the most part. Like, they all hope they'll get the one that is... Oh, I'll stop walking, actually. The one that has the long cutscenes because that one gives 10 and I think the other one only gives only gives 7. But if you do it with a party and you're farming trials, it's so much faster. I have to dance. Isn't that really even something else in it? It's always Ultima, isn't it? Um, well, yeah, the two. Because there's only two main scenario dungeons, right? The one with tons of cutscenes and the one with slightly less cutscenes, but still a bunch of cutscenes, but not so many. I was doing some concept art yesterday and deleted it. Oh, buddy! This is why you shouldn't delete it. Stuff you make is really good. Believe in yourself. I do. I believe in myself. But I also believe in you. For some reason, I feel like my camera is vaguer on this side. Is that just me? I feel like that's not just me. Hold on. While they're in a cutscene, I'm gonna look at it. It feels that way. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Just me casually swapping around my face. Don't worry about it. Castrum is better if you're not farming XP compared to Praetorium. It's noticeably shorter. It is, but I think most people who queue for it are just doing it for XP. Like, I would only do it for XP. XP and tombstones, I guess. Or tombstones. And in this case, the mog stones. But yeah, like the last one... What did that one have again? Mm. The Pegasus I got from the mog stones. And I got this one from Monkstones, and this one, and a bunch of my birds too, actually. For a second there, I was like, what are you again? I forget what mounts I have. I think most of Bahamut's, like, their cutscenes are not voice. My voice is preparing itself. We'll have a nice dinner, Danny. Oh, <laughs> at eight? Of some art that I can post, but I always forget about it. Listen, I will see anything that you made. Love my little stance. Majima! What is something you won't miss, will miss from Canada? Beaver tails. I would like beaver tails, but I will not miss the zoning. The zoning is honestly one of the things that bothers me the most. Just because I like going to my little town centers, you know? You know how in the Netherlands you can just walk to the store? You can't really do that here. Not most of the time, anyway. Okay, fine, Danny. You know what? Do whatever you want. You're, you're still around. I'm not mad. Dinner at 10pm is fine, exactly. I couldn't even get a cast off properly. We're so fast! I could get that cast off though. Ha ha ha! Easy. I had a dream they redesigned all that completely. Did they remove <laughs> the cursed tavern? Because if not, did it really help anybody? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, whoops, sorry. I knew you were there. There's, there's tomato everywhere. And I only eat tiny tomatoes. How did that even happen? I've had dinner at almost 12? That is perfectly fine. Okay, it depends on the day. It depends on the day. I will forgive you. Just because I also have ridiculous hours sometimes. The curse it in. Kimberly, the curse it in. But yes, the quicksand. <laughs> you can't walk into the quicksand, especially in Balmung, without things happening to you. You need a bodyguard. When I have dinner at 10 p.m., it's always lasagna. Strange how that happens. Why always lasagna? It's another snack lady. This one will not kick her ass, though. Momodi was still running it. Well, I don't know. No improvements in that case. Okay, I like Momodi, though. Momodi is nice. We can keep her. This one actually took me a while to kill on my own. I'm not gonna lie. I guess we don't have to do that today. Do you look nice? Not really. Off I go, then. I don't think second quill was part of the things I needed to do for my book. Was it? Let me actually see. What did my book want? 21 book? Final coil of Bahamas. Oh. Anyway, yes. This is the itinerant um, Moogle. So it's over here. There's a little Moogle face. There, There's one in every single main city. But yeah, so... Um, you can buy stuff here. This is... Stuff that already happened before. And this is what we had last time. Apparently. I'm enjoying my town of Jell, and you are the centerpiece of life. Aww. Thank you for being around. A brilliant treasure in our lives. Was it the was it the tombstones? It was. It was the tombstones. Thank you, Lander. Was the tombstones though? Never mind. Um <laughs> Anyway, and this is the sort of stuff you can buy. So blissful come we, and Tyrannosaur Horn, a Falcon Ignition Key, a Magitek Predator Identification Key. These four were the ones, I think I already had most of these though, at the time, pretty sure I did. Um, so those are 50 each, and if you get 10 each time you do a main scenario quest, the long ones, you could tell how long that would take, which means it's a lot faster to do it with trials, right? Now in Spain, it's completely normal to eat dinner at late hours. I used to eat much later when I was still in the Netherlands, but um, here oh, you have to go to bed early. It, it is expensive if you want a lot of the stuff. Usually there's like one mount at least that you already have, but there's also other stuff that you want. Um, like for example, the Ultima Horns. Um, I bought those. <laughs> and there's riding maps if you don't really need anything else. Uh, if you don't want to do reputation grinding, you can buy those mounts here as well. Uh, and the Nightmare, or like, I think that's all of them actually? Can you get all of them? Oh, at least it's a Nightmare. Um, and if you're really out of things that you want to buy, you can buy MGP, or just things to sell. So you can buy the pets instead, which are very cheap, but then you wouldn't really farm for them, so... Endwalker, Kimberly. Endwalker. I am excited about it. The Falcon was a specific event mount? Um, it's not. Uh, it's just that uh, the itinerant Moogle never sells things that are really exclusive to the itinerant Moogle, except for certain very specific uh, things, like the Namazu earring. That one is specific to this guy. But everything, like the mounts, they're generally not Moogle specific. You can get them elsewhere, but usually it's annoying. So for example, um, the Blissful Kamui you have to do the trials for. The Tyrannosaur Horn is from... Eureka? I want to say Eureka. Um, the Falcon Ignition Key... I'm not actually sure where you get that one anymore. But most of them are all, all get it. You can get them elsewhere. It's just like, slightly more annoying. Whereas here, you know exactly what you get when you get it, which is really nice. Which is why I love the Internal Moogle, because it's like, okay, I am going to add at least one mount to my collection, right? I've been trying to eat small portions throughout the day due to a medical problem, but I just end up eating later, skipping meals. I kind of tend to do the same. I'll be honest. 
I actually still have a bunch of mock tomes left, like here. I have 112 left and I forgot to spend them. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to spending them this time. Uh, did we do two? Yeah, we did. We're almost at the part where I, s I get to see things. Yay! Turkish, Mediterranean, Aegean, breakfast, any other breakfast? I really like light breakfast, so I'm like a smoothie person. Like I, you know what I hate? UK breakfast. I'm sorry if there's any UK people here, but I just don't like a UK breakfast with the beans. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. I've yet to get past Stormblood. I did it a long time ago on Lala White Mage. I, I'm on Balmung, which is... Ether? I'm actually not sure. What is Balmung on? That's a good question. What data center is Balmung on? I'm not sure. Crystal? Okay, Crystal. I'm on Crystal. <laughs> Three feet to pick stick and I'll leave it. Oh, very stingy breakfast right there. I look forward to my breakfast tomorrow. For some reason. Cold beans on soggy bread. I don't know who came up with that one. It used to be veteran reward. Did it? I know they changed veteran rewards like a lot. Basically they don't they don't really exist anymore as they used to. Which is like, you know, I get it, because you would have to buy like a really, really long streak to get all of them. I think it ends at um cloud now. I'm trying to small meals too for medical reasons. Yeah, same. Okay. Full disclosure, I get lost in this one. All the fucking time. Genuinely, I have no idea what I'm doing in this one. Don't ask me. I know that on the sides there's like... Treasure chests or something? But, nah. Google has gifted me information. Part of the Stormblood, Stormblood release campaign that is no longer available. Hold on. The event ran from Saturday. Players who had subscribed for 90 days, excluding free periods, were given the Falcon Ignition Key. Yeah, so this was, I guess, the other- the only other way to get it, then. Okay, let's- I think we have to fight, like, most of these. I'm gonna see if Kiryu goes anywhere. He does not. Time to look everywhere else. I like the outfits, but they're just T-Mog. Yeah, pretty much. But that's what the Moogle's for. How'd that work out? <laughs> well, how did that work out, Kiryu? There we are. Frontal bulkhead. Here we are. That's new. Okay, so forward, forward, right. <laughs> okay, I'll wait here. Oh no, actually, that doesn't start a cutscene, I know for sure. Yeah, the avatar was not a big deal for me at all, thankfully. The next one, however. A successful stream with a sturdy music and surprisingly Final Fantasy XIV at the end. Finish Teleprint Questline! Nice, that means you can do... The Mandeville Mambo! Is everyone here? There we are. Turn 3, good times, good times. We're gonna do turn 4, we'll see if that's good times, good times. I don't think it will be. But yeah, I think I, think I was in the... Um... Let me open it up real quick. Oh, whoops. I'm not even looking at things. I think I got it from the event. Oh, did I just die? I wasn't even looking. Maybe this one's better to solo. Oh no! Let's see. Where is it? Did I put it here? Oh, look at my mouse like this! It's okay, he's already dead. There you go, easy. For some reason, this was easier to solo. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I think you are indeed right. Well, obviously, I guess. See, this one looks okay, but I still wouldn't really care for it. I don't have room. I need more room in my transmog chest, or I guess my glamour chest. Okay, so now we're gonna do 
Nail? Da da nail? Yeah, it's nail. I did not kill this one because I couldn't solo it. I could not solo it. Avatar was like really easy as a red mage. I think it really depends on on what abilities you have to deal with, I guess. So good for us, I guess. You guess, Gen Z. Stop guessing. Start knowing. Okay. I know it is. Because she has several phases. I wonder if you can skip them if you just have enough DPS. Let's find out. I won't get every single mechanic on my face this time. <laughs> so that's nice. And then we can all go and unlock things together. Oh right, you still have to... There's a cutscene. I knew that. I knew that. I think after this I will have a very short break because I am pretty much out of water. It's possible to kill, but you have to do the DPS stop in the last phase and step on one of the glow things in the ground, then burn her. I just always went in with full DPS. Maybe that was my problem. That I should not have done that. But we'll see how it works with uh, with multiple people. I have a feeling we might wipe. Once-ish. I do think she has a really cool, like, overall aesthetic. I also really like the, um, the Garlean naming scheme. Like Van Balsar. Um, Vas Yunos. I think those are, those are dope. I love those. Yes, I do need to hire it, exactly. To hydrate, I need water. I have faith in us. I believe in us, personally. A third eye creeps me out. Why? It's looking at you respectfully. How would you say that? She'll like me better if I dance with her. See, I can already feel her heart softening towards me. Same, Neil. Same. I also kind of wish I was around when Final Fantasy XIV was still bad. Oh, that sounds weird, but like, I wish I was around just to see the, the older stories. I think Final Fantasy XI has a lot of those old stories as well. Alfino's presence just kills him at- How dare you! He's not even here, he's not even watching, it's fine. He's, he's, he's just gonna- Cheer you on from afar. I thought it was Alize that goes here with you. I thought he wasn't even here. Oh, one of many, Karnork. One of many, I'm sure. But no, it's not. It's not. If it's the most fan art, no. I wanted to play 1.0, but stuck in WoW. Yeah, I didn't even. I'll be honest. I didn't even know about Final Fantasy XIV when um, the old version was out. I genuinely didn't know about it. Uh, I was also knee-deep in World of Warcraft, so... There you are. Did love Final Fantasy XI, though? Going through the stories was a wonderful time. I think, um, Final Fantasy XI, isn't that still live? I swear it is. I swear Final Fantasy XI is still live. It is Alize! I was gonna say! Go on! They're not the same. Alize would slap you. XI was brutal, didn't age well. I think people are still playing it. It is, right, right. Yeah, it's where I, I did a bunch of my research from um, for the dragon video I made as well. Still updating too. I think, didn't they say they had the last update before? Like a while ago? They did like the final update. The assumed Arcanists, they have different faces. I know it might not look that way, but they have different faces. I swear. I hope so, Flamer, in Final Fantasy. Okay, these will spawn a, a boy, I think. You don't want them too near to each other. Okay, you want to destroy the boys. 
Very good, very good. Okay, small attack on this boy. See, we already know. We, we are so in sync. People keep playing it so they change course. I can kind of see that. The actual LSA? Wait, well, she's actually a night elf, isn't she? Technically. You know the song. You know, you know, you know. Another one. Do 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 do. I'm giving everyone heals. Small heals. Sir, do not even try. Okay, we're fine. This is fine. She hurts like a truck! Ten seconds to Mega Flare. I don't know what that's supposed to do, I'll be honest. I don't know if I have to hide. Do I have to hide? Let's hide. I don't know. I don't know if you do or if you don't. I don't think you do. I don't think it does anything hiding here. No, it doesn't. I think it made it worse. Don't hurt me, I'm small. Don't even think about it. Easy. <laughs> no worries. I hadn't killed you before. Good for you, girl. Good for you. <laughs> it's a trap. My character's so excited about it. <laughs> Love that for him. The walls kill you. Um, well, no, the other one. I was thinking about the other one. Funtania. The walls love me. They love me. Probably. See, she looks totally different from Alfino. I don't know how you could think that. It's like, I'm the tired. I guess it's nice to have a refresh. Poor creature. Would that you had never been born. Oh. You had surrendered your physical form and collapsed into ether. But the Bahamut denied your death and imprisoned what little was left of you in an ethereal shell resembling... What, I wonder? Images from your memory, perhaps? Does she look that sad? Hmm. That shell is now broken. And your primal deity seems disinclined to sustain your existence. Well, yeah, but sh doesn't she want to die? My primal deity? I kneel to no icon. What need have I to beg for the favor of such filth? I am Nail Vandarnus, Legatus of the Sixth Legion. Sorry, Seventh, but whatever, you're dying. <laughs> no. A moment. My thoughts are clouded. And this body is not mine own. Could it be that you spoke the truth? Was I ensorcelled by the Lesser Moon's ancient prisoner? That will not happen again. Because you're dead. You speak as if Bahamut no longer controls you, but that's impossible. Once a primal ensnares a mind, it cannot be freed. Actually, unless... Unless Bahamut simply relinquished his claim, what need has he of a broken spirit bound for the ethereal realm? I don't know, you to ask him. Oh, I should fall prey to the very influence I sought the purge from the land. That irony is galling. But do not assume that all of my actions were chosen for me. It was my will that the meteor project, project be resurrected. Mine and none other. And also Arwen, who wants to sit in front of my screen. Yet it seems that my grand designs were destined to fail. Even the ungentle release of death was denied me. Now, please, you must tell us more of the calamity. I must know the truth of what has befallen the world, and what has become of my grandfather, Archon Louis Soir. 
Good night, Yetta. Sleep well. You are Louis Soir's grandchild. Ah, the fates are generous with their cruelty. Continue on, if you would have your answers. They await you at the terminus of your path. But know that this path leads only to despair. The light of truth was ever harsh and unforgiving. Why do you say this? Grandfather will be freed once we put a stop to Bahamut's restoration. Will he not? What are you not telling us? Nothing. Steal yourself, child. Only unbending resolve and merciless strength can conquer what lies ahead. The weak can do naught but weep under the pall of their own misery, as did the frail child I once was. She's like, I'll wait with dying for a little bit. Uh oh. Did he just super kill her? Silence, chattering raven. Your wretched wings are broken, and you shall soar no more. That's a bit much. My crimson moon, your brilliance sears mine eyes. Still? Well, at least she dies happy. Good for her. <laughs> I recognize that voice, Shota. Never would he say such words. Oh, the voice of her granddad? At least no one has to pick up her body, I know. Come, let us finish what we came to do. All will be put all, all right when the final hulk lies dormant. Grandfather will be himself again. I'm sure of it. Don't be too sure of that. Hello, big head. Bahamut regenerates more swiftly than I had anticipated. Let us hope that disabling this coil will serve to slow the process. This place seems... different. But the controls appear to mimic the mechanism we found in the Lana Saiyan Belk. Or Hulk, even. Well, it shouldn't pose a problem. Unless... It could just attack us. Shota. Forgive me. The moment I beheld Nail's transformation, hope wilted in my heart. I did not believe you could stand against the manifestation of Bahamut's power, and I couldn't solo. For all your fabled strength and skill, I felt certain then that well, I, I was going to lose you, just as I lost my grandfather. Even he, a man for whom naught seemed impossible, was humbled before Bahamut's might. My character looks a little bit unimpressed, I'm not gonna lie. And yet, look how far we have come. It is incredible the feats of which we are capable, our boundless potential. Twas this capacity for greatness, I believe, that Grandfather so dearly wished to protect. With all that has occurred, I have come to understand that much at least. Aww, wholesome. Wholesome. I like this bonding we have with Alizé and me. I feel like I'm much closer to Alizé as well, as like my character is closer to Alizé than I am to Alfino, even though we've like done a bunch of th stuff with Alfino as well. I feel like whenever I have quest lines with Alizé, it's so much more personal. Alfino is even interested in this? He should be. It is done. Shall we make our way back to the surface and gather our thoughts? We have seen much that will benefit from Uriange's learned perspective. Pray return to the waking sand, is that what you're saying? No chill and sassiness, I know I love her. Oh. Well, that's uncalled for. I like how my character's just like, ah, oh, don't do it. We should smite him back. Grandfather? It is you! Then... Why? Abandon this quest, Alizé. I will not countenance further sabotage of the coils. Sabotage? But, but we must disable the coils if we are to prevent Bahamut's revival. 
Your defiance seals your fate. He's fun at parties. He's obviously taken by Bahamut, right? No. No, you are not who I thought you were. My grandfather would never... Foolish girl. How could the White Raven allow herself to be bested by such sniveling opponents? Well, she wasn't really fighting. I was. Listen well. We all exist at the pleasure of one divine will. And the word of Lord Bahamut is absolute. He's taken. Scurry back into your holes, vermin. You have been granted this one reprieve. But should you be so foolish as to crawl into my lord's domain again, I will crush the life from you myself. Again, he has fun at parties. That light in Grandfather's eyes. He has suffered the same fate as Nail. It's okay, buddy. We'll fix it. My grandsire is no more. That was naught but a phantom that profanes his noble memory. This mockery must be expunged. I will not rest until I free Grandfather's soul from Bahamut's tyranny. I mean, it's not even the real Bahamut, let's be honest. Do you hear me, Bahamut? Your time is at an end. Eorzea and my family will be avenged. But I'm going to do the avenging. She doesn't have to do it. It's fine. Oh, hello. Everyone else read it much faster than me. I didn't want to have a small break to grab my water. And maybe a piece of cheesecake? Maybe a piece of cheesecake? Small piece of cheesecake. We actually have more quests now! Yay! Okay. I will be right back really, really quickly. I shan't be long, I super promise. But I will have to be right back.
Okay, right. Uh, see, we've, uh, we have a casualty. I guess I didn't, I, you didn't pray for my return quickly enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next time. I think you're probably already gone, Connor. Good night. Either way. And yes, I have a little bit of a cheesecake addiction. They're really tasty. I, I think you're, you're understanding how tasty they are. Oh, do we actually want to bring the brother in? Truly, it is wonderful to escape that stifling air and return to Northern Thunalon again, it would appear. I must thank you, Shota. Were it not for your bravery, I strongly doubt that I would be standing here right now. Uh, but you need not tarry on my account. The danger has passed. Pray, go on ahead and apprise your yange of all that has occurred. Literally pray. I will join you anon. My thoughts are yet unruly, and I would rest here a while. Pray return to the waking sands. <laughs> I do not wish to pray. Please. Okay. At least we can fly there now. You know, this was much worse before when flying was not an option. You used to have to walk. Oh, close enough, Core. You know what? They're clearly non binary. I do like the theme music here, I won't lie. God, it's been ages since I actually went here. I've not had to go to the Waking Sands. You can get, give me some cheesecake so that I can understand. Well, if you come over, I still have a lot of cheesecake left. For all those so inclined, you are welcome to it. Hey, buddy. The triumphant hero doth return. Thine eyes speak of the dread task's completion. The second coil now lieth dormant. Yet I sense the tidings thou bearest are not altogether glad. Pray tell me, what ill hath cast the shadow which falleth now across thy brow? God, what hasn't? What hasn't, buddy? My buddy, I mean. This man. Right here. An old foe and an old friend. So it was but the ethereal shadow of Master, Master Louis Soir that Lady Alizé beheld an unnatural conjuration enthralled to the Elder Primal. That the fiends should deign to choose him of all men, even in full knowledge of the Shade's true nature. I would be hard-pressed to weather such a confrontation. Yet what agonies must the young mistress have endured? Such torment did she ne'er deser ne deserve. Mayhap twere better if the Lady Alizé did absent herself from future forays into the coils. I have come too far to surrender to grief, Yuri Angé. Yeah, Yuri Angé. You still have the weird voice. My lady, I am resolved to defeat these fiends, and naught shall sway me from my path. Now, let us peer more deeply into the well of our discoveries. As you wish, my lady. I do wish. By your leave. I would speak first of the coil's late guardian, Nail Van Darnus. It's still Talias and Jaffa? Uh, no, it's Gideon Emery. Gideon Emery does Uriange in Realm Reborn, as far as I know. Good night, duck. Sleep well, buddy. Have a good nap. Van Darnus was a legatus of the Guardian Empire who strove to bring about Eorzea's final destruction, only to fall even as the sixth sun did set. Did set. If thou hast heard tales of the White Raven, then it is he of whom they speak. Aye, he, I say, for Nail was for a certainty no maid. The noble house of Van Darnus, as we discovered all too late, had long safeguarded the wisdom of ancient Alec. Twas thus that the Legatus came to learn the true nature of Dalamut, and to seek the, to employ the Red Moon as a weapon against the Eorzea. But the Crystal Tower, and the mechanisms required to command the satellite, yet lay hidden beneath the ground, compelling Nail to construct a far less subtle mechanism. 
and in his first faltering attempts to communicate with Dalamud, he did likely rouse the satellite's slumbering prisoner. Thenceforth did the White Raven's soul belong to Bahamut. Hmm. Am I mistaken with Thancred? I, I don't know who voices Thancred. Maybe that's Sunny Hassan? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, no. Um, I only know this because uh, Gideon Emery is actually one of my favorite voice actors. So I recognized them immediately when I heard Yonge, so... <laughs> he was fortunate indeed to acquire so powerful a thrall by chance. It is little wonder he was so loath to part with him. Why let a simple thing like death deprive one of so useful a pawn? Though we may accuse him of bungling Van Darnus' resur resurrection, I dare say Bahamut was as content to have a handmaiden as a manservant. I only hope that the two thralls we encountered with the extent of his flock. Yet, I cannot help but dwell on Nail's words, those beloved children of whom he spoke. I assumed at first that he referred to the moon's beastly guardians, but should Bahamut have enslaved other mortals, we must needs remove this source of worship. Otherwise, our efforts to disable the coils shall be for naught. Forgive me mine indelicacy, my lady. Thou art wise indeed to speak of expunging the primal's thralls, but canst thou truly pursue a course which would cost thee thine own grandsire? That's not really her grandsire anymore, so it's okay. My heart and mind are as one on this matter. Grandfather's salvation can be won, but by a single method. The destruction of Bahamut, and aught that might serve to sustain him. Shota. While Uriange and I endeavor to ascertain the existence of any further thralls, I suggest you grant yourself a moment's respite. Rest assured that I will contact you the moment I have need of your inimitable talents. I don't think she knows I'm doing a 12-hour stream right now. That's fine. That we have achieved so much, I owe to you. I fear, however, that our trials have barely begun. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. I forgive you. Though time had dulled the pain of thy passing, I find that I am wounded afresh. Master Louisois, what good shall come of this unending search for knowledge and truth? Long have I believed the pursuit of such treasures to be the duty of every true Charlian. Yet when each new revelation serveth only to heap further anguish upon those whom we would fain protect, must we truly reach for more? So... You have found your resolve, dear sister. Oh. Will you now find a use for the secret? For the key that only you and I hold? Oh, he's being mysterious. Doesn't have meta knowledge. I will send the twi- I will send the Twitch link. She'll know. She won the watch. Given our familiar propensity for curiosity, you would do well to remember that keys may serve to seal doors as well as to unlock them. And Bahamut is a most unwelcome guest to whom the door should never have been opened. Does he know more than he's telling us? You can handle the truth! Can I? The final witness. Oh, yes, I would. Man is wont to cast light wheresoever secrets lie hid in darkness, though that which he illuminateth seldom bringeth him joy. So it is with such unhappy truth, as Bahamut's immense shadow doth conceal. I have no idea what this man is talking about right now. <laughs> Yet ever onward for forgeth Mistress Alize, undeterred by the burden of knowledge that weigheth heavy on her heart. Tis a perilous path she hath chosen, and a painful one. I pray thee, Shota, remain by her side as her valiant blade, that she might see her quest to its conclusion. I will consider it. Shota, it is well that you are here. Is it? My lady, how might I serve you this day? I have met with some difficulty in my mission, Yuri Anjay, and I should be grateful for your counsel. As you know, Bahamut's physical form is regenerating beneath the Cartano Flats, even as we speak. If we are to prevent his return, we must needs disable the two remaining internment hulks that sustain him. Every moment our mission is delayed, the realm is pushed closer to the brink of destruction. Alas, though although I have determined the locations of the fragments of Dalamut leading to the hulks, I've been unable to find a way to enter them. 
That's where I come in. And gaining admittance is but the first step in your perilous undertaking. Oh, that's him again. Sorry. When last thou descended into Bahamut's subterranean fastness, thou didst discover, didst thou not, that the dread primal had bound the shade of Nil Van Darnus unto his will. And thou, though thou didst consign the fallen legatus to blessed oblivion, thou mayest recall that a piteous wretch was not alone. Doubt not, but that Bahamut's other thralls shall seek to hinder thy passage. You can say his name, Uriange. I have not forgotten that my grandfather is waiting for us. My lady, I will remind you, as I must oft remind myself, that the man whom we both loved and revered is no more. Sorry, revered, not revered. What remaineth is but a shade which defileth his memory. The vile verbiage that spilleth from his lips must not be heeded, for it cometh not from your grandsire, but from Bahamut himself. You need not worry, Yuriange. Come what you may. I will not stray from the course. I will not let grandfather's sacrifice be in vain. <sighs> Mere words will not take us whither we must go. As I said, I have been unable to find a way to enter the fragments of Dalamut. My lady, might I suggest that you visit the fragments again in Shota's company? Full oft hath the warrior of light set events in motion by virtue of his presence alone. It is possible that he may do so again. I, the while, shall search for answers of mine own. By our efforts combined, full sure am I that the path shall be revealed to us ere long. That's a lot to trust on just me, I'm not gonna lie. Were it anyone else, I should question the wisdom of such advice. Yet... I cannot deny that what you say about Shota is true. Very well. I shall do as you suggest. Assuming you have no objections, of course. Good. Now, we seek entry to two fragments of Dalamut. One lies at the Burning Pool in eastern Thanalan, and the other at the Singing Shards in Mordona. I left an assistant at each location with instructions to continue searching for a means of ingress. It is not impossible. They could since have found something useful to us. Let us begin by visiting my man at the Burning Pool. Dex, I think it was. Almost forgot his name already. This old man is risking his life. It's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, they're making me fly. I guess. I'm guessing everyone else has already unlocked everything and I am the last one. <laughs> Because I'm out loud reading everything. Of course, all for the benefit of my lovely viewers. So you don't have to read. You're welcome. Oh, where's my music at? Actually, I never really heard the music of this mount. There's straight up no music. That's kind of eerie. Is it because there's fog? Weird. I skipped through all so you can read it to me. What would you do if I had skipped it too? What if I had just skipped everything? I mean, I wouldn't have. But what if I did? You never know. Hello, friend. Are we sure this is easier than just reading a story? I'm not so sure anymore. I say, are you not Master Majima? My lady's most faithful companion. Sinis, sir, at your service. And may I say, what an honor it is to meet you. So his name is not Dex. <laughs> Fair enough, Cor. Fair enough. How goes the survey, Dex? So he's also called Dex? Dex Sinis? Ah, uh, my lady. It shames me to say that I have found no viable path to the fragments. Ah, uh, just fly. No worries. Though it stands there before her very eyes, uh, the way thither has thus far proven impossible. When the fragments fell and pierced the land, it caused the prodigious amount of ether to spew forth. It was this that gave rise to the land's twisted lay, which seems destined to thwart our efforts. Happens to the best of us. Even were an opening to exist, I fear that we would struggle to reach it. We cannot give up. Keep trying. Or what? So near, and yet so far. Well, it avails us not to stand here and stare at the thing. Let us away to Mordona and try the other fragment. Perhaps Sinus has fared better. She, did she just flip them around? Because didn't this guy just tell us he was Sinus? 
Ah, uh, upon that note, my lady, there is something I must tell you. I am sorry to report that I lost contact with my brother just over a bell ago. Uh, as you know, the singing shards are home to many fell creatures, ogres among them. While I do not wish to cause undue alarm, I fear something unspeakable may have happened to Dex. What? Why didn't you... Give me strength. See, he even said so. We must hurry to my assistant's aid, Shota. He's done something stupid again. It's fine, I'll fix it. I could still just fly there. You have my blessing to sit on my two-seaters? I forgive you? I guess not. Back then, you couldn't fly in these zones. This is for the benefit of the people who were not here. Back then. Wait, what does Sing Me an- hold on. Did I ever unlock Sing Me Another Song? Did I forget something? Sorry, what did we- what did we not have yet? Hold up! <laughs> I am skipping his dialogue, don't worry. What is it- Oh! Dalamut, really? There's a savage mode of that? Why am I not surprised, I guess? Your stirring tales have stirred me! They shouldn't! Do you unlock anything or not? Is it not exactly as you told me? Definitely. Oh, I guess not. I guess it's, it's just him making a song. No, you can now relive your foray into the second coil of Bahamut. But Savage? I did not know this had a Savage mode, I'm not gonna lie. But that makes sense, of course it does. So the first one doesn't have a Savage mode. Interesting. So then I'm assuming the last one also... Wait, can I not go here? The last one also has a Savage mode then? I guess that would go to follow that it did. Ah! Wait, I'm lost. Oh god. I can never fly over here and I always forget that I can't. Hey, hello! Wait, did I... Very lost, by the way. Welcome back! Hello! We're uh, finishing the night with an extremely mellow Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, hold on. I'll actually take the normal route. I promise. I'll go through the door. Wait, did someone die? Oh, you f you died far away. I'm sorry, buddy. My voice is slowly leaving me. But it's still an hour and a half to go. It will have to do. And I'm reading a lot of things as well, so it just does not help. I guess that's all on me. Hello, Dex. Not Sinus. He seems fine. He doesn't look that hurt. Thank you, adventurer. For a moment there, I feared that my bones were to be ground up and used to bake bread. Maybe they still can be. I am relieved to see that you are unharmed. It was wrong of me to press such a dangerous task upon you, while well, at least solo. My lady... Your worries are wasted on me. It was nothing at all, I assure you. Well, clearly not. Ahem. <laughs> if it please you, I shall report my findings. As you can see, though the tip of the fragment is exposed, the rest is encased in rock and crystal, rendering it impossible to enter the structure. You might try excavating the area around the fragment, but that is like to take time. And there really is no telling how deep we may need to dig before we find a suitable point of ingress. As such, I am forced to conclude that gaining entry to this fragment is unrealistic. Forgive me, my lady. Well, where are we? Are we going anywhere? Confound it, we are losing precious time. What are we to do now? I don't know. You tell me. Tis I, Uriangé. Glad tidings have I for thee and my lady. For a blessing, a way hath been found by which thou mayest enter the remaining fragments of Dalamut. Pray escort Mistress Alize to the Cerulean Processing Plant in northern Thanalan. There, all shall be made clear. You couldn't have said this earlier. I will rest myself after this, but stream again tomorrow. Kuriyanje has found a way! Then we must go to him at once. Can we have a... Can we have a tea first? 
Probably not. Go on then. He's right next door at least this time. And we're just leaving him here. I guess if he dies, he dies. Hey, buddy. Oh, was that the end? Uh, I see Erkenbrad already. Hello. My apologies for summoning you thus from afar, my lady. But tis here that your journey may finally begin. As opposed to? I did wonder. To my knowledge, there are no fragments in northern Thanalan. Nor are you mistaken, my lady. Yet a pathway doth exist, one which you yourself have made as use of in the past. At the conclusion of your several forays into the binding coil, twas at the crystal formation which lieth to the north of this place that you did emerge, was it not? Yes, an ethereal stream bore us back to the surface. That much I had surmised. Are you suggesting that we can use it to return underground? And even if that were possible, would it not simply bear us back to those places which we have already explored? It need not, my lady. Pray allow me to explain. Upon the evidence of your experience, it seemeth plain that two interment hulks may share the self-same ethereal egress. Okay, they're just gonna explain to me how I can walk in, so I'm gonna skip that. He's like, you can walk there, I know. It's just ethereal travel this time, okay. That is a risk I am willing to take. You are brilliant, Yuri Alge. Mm -hmm. I hope so too, Raven. I, we'll see. If it's not, I'll just have a really short one. Well, thank you, Atticus. Thank you very much. I am curious. Did you have assistance in forming this plan? I could not help noticing your repeated use of the word we, unless you have taken use the majest taken to using the majestic plural in our absence. He would never do that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Nay, my lady. As you have correctly surmised, I was not alone in this endeavor. Meaning there are others who are aware of our mission? Maybe? Yes? He's right around the corner, just show him. Well, it cannot be helped now. Preventing Bahama's return is what matters. If some secrecy must be sacrificed to achieve our goal, then so be it. Exactly. It's actually not even my favorite transmog. My favorite transmog is this one. Or rather, I guess... The bow one. Because. Hell yeah. I'll walk like this. Is this the man? Should I be going to him? I should not be going to him. I still have to talk to this guy. Hello. That's, that's how we're getting in here? Oh no, that doesn't seem safe. Oh, that's my favorite bow hollow. My absolute favorite. So that must be the modified etherite. But what are the immortal flames doing here? That's a very good question. Those men may be sworn flames of Ulda, but they are first and foremost faithful retainers of House Le Valieu. Oh, hello, Alphano. Alphano? So it was you who was helping Yuriage? Why wouldn't you already make him do that? I now found two displayed posters that I like. Which ones? What is, what's on them? Tell me. Who else could it have been, dear sister? Lest you worry, I have no intention of making the details of your venture public. Like you, I would prefer to avoid causing a panic. But given that which is at stake, namely the survival of the realm, one must be willing to accept help, and it is offered. Would you not agree? At the very least, do not be cross with Oriange. It was at my behest that he kept silent. Huh. We will speak later. Oh dear, we need to talk, but different. Pray forgive me, my lady. But knowing full well your intent, I judged it meet that Master Alfino be informed. Though your grandsire hath become Bahamut's thrall, his noble blood courseth yet through both your veins, and if he must need to be needs be struck down. Do you hear that, Alfino? I mean to strike down grandfather, and when I have done so, I shall banish Bahamut to the ether. Nothing you say will sway me from my course. I will protect Eorzea, and I will uphold Grandfather's legacy. Grandfather's legacy? So you still do not know what you yourself desire. Your actions are still driven by borrowed resolve. Borrowed resolve? What does that have to do with anything? 
Protecting Eorzea was Grandfather's goal, and we made it ours. Both of us. That is why we came here, unless you have forgotten. Gods forbid, forbid, I should never forgot, Alizé. But you misunderstand. I do not question your resolve, only whence it came. If it were your own, you would be able to tell me precisely why you desire so fervently to protect Eorzea. Yet you cannot, for it is not your resolve, but Grandfather's. You may struggle to see the difference, but borrow resolve shall never be as strong as that which springs from within. But let us speak of this another time. For now, preventing Bahamut's return is all that matters. To be plain, I have no objection to striking down whatever is left of Grandfather. Know, however, that I will be accompanying you this time. As a son of House Levalier, I would be present for his final moments. Annoying brother still. I like Alphano. He's grown a lot. He's changed. Very well. You may join us on one condition. I make the decisions. Our shoes seem so uncomfortable, though. If it please, my lady, the name's Erkenrad. Our preparations are just about complete. And when you're ready to embark on your mission, just give me the word. I'll be waiting for you at the Cerulean Processing Plant. Aye. One's a series meditating one, and the other one's a Zelda Master Sword. And I've seen that one! I was considering getting that one too, Danny. Pay no heed to my brother. You can rely on me. We've come far together, you and I, and together we shall see our journey to its end. I like her. I like her so much. She's cute. That hat looks heavy. I am... Um, it's made of feathers. <laughs> Maybe, I hope. So close! I've been waiting for you, Master Majima. I'm pleased to say that the Ether is primed and ready. As you know, the remaining internment hulks are connected to the fragments in Eastern Thanalon and Mordona. It's so the for to the former, we'll be sending you first. Now, you'll be starting inside the hulk, meaning you won't have to cover so much ground. I'm gonna stop reading what she says now. When I tell you my throat is shot, I well and truly mean that. When I tell you I have no idea how I ever did a 24 hour stream, I do mean that. Nice to know I have good taste. Good. We will be. I was the one tanking for most of that. Just so you know. Oh, okay, Core. Anyway, it wasn't the tank either, either way. It was years ago. It was when I was younger. No, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I'm gonna go to a voice coach one day. No, it was Mohiko! He was there all along! So this is how it looks on the inside. This interment hulk still functions. The teleportation was a success. We are come to the right place. There's no telling how much further Bahamut has regenerated since we last beheld him. Let us make haste to the main bridge and deactivate the coil. I will consider it. Honey, can you make me some tea? I mean... Would you have loved to see that? I'm not sure. I was a wreck halfway through. There were receptacles similar to these in the previous Hulk. Those held chimerical beasts, but only the Alagans know what other abominations may be sleeping within. I can't remember if I first came around during a 12-hour or a 24-hour stream. I can't either, I'm sorry. <laughs> they may well be part of Dalamud's internal defenses. We must stay on our guard at all times. I'll consider it. <laughs> Nodding. <laughs> it looks a lot more imposing. If we can't make it with the three of us, then that's fine. At least we'll know. I think we'll be fine, though. Hmm. 
Only one way to go. This looks a little bit alien-like. I'm thinking you were playing Graveyard Keeper. There are some people who came in through Ga Graveyard Keeper, to be honest. What's happening if Endwalker's- is Endwalker out? No? I know I haven't played Final Fantasy in a little bit. But that's just because I was done with all the story. And we weren't doing Savage. We'll do Savage and Endwalker, don't worry. I promise. I haven't actually played through Bahamut before, Loneliest. Um, I watched cutscenes on, on um, YouTube for a bit, but that's been ages as well, so it's like, I don't know. Oh. Actually, stacking them up is probably faster anyway, isn't it? Oh, hello. I guess this one's more a trash, a trash type fight as well? Oh, this seems maybe like a final one. Is it? It is. Are they all dragons? They would be. It's like <laughs> a dragon coral? Do, 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 do. I was definitely a wreck wreck though. Like I I had a highlight video about it. I actually did save that one in my um in my own personal highlights. I saved it because Oh, okay. Rip. I don't know what that's... I'm gonna just walk away, because I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Oh, I think it just drops those. That's fine. Yeah, he's easy enough. It, it is lonely as it is. Not that I ever played it. I've been watching your YouTube videos and noticed that you posted that you were streaming and decided to say hi. Uh, see, I, I always feel like nobody ever comes over for my YouTube videos. But a lot of people have. Because like, half the time I'm like, um, should I even bother saying that I stream? No one's going to check out my video or not my Twitch. And like, especially from, from um, on TikTok, I feel the same way. Because it's like kind of a hassle. Most people watch TikTok on their phone, so it's like a hassle to move over to Twitch. But quite a few people have. Yeah, you guys came from YouTube, so you know it's it's worth saying something, I guess. By the twelve dragons, and so many. I think they're all dead. We were aware that the the elegance possessed the means to control the creatures. To imprison them thus is barbaric. I would not wish such a fate upon my worst enemy. That one looked just like Vidofnir. It is plain that no love was lost between the elegans and the dragons. But was it truly necessary to keep so great a number here? Dalamud did not want for defenses. This we have experienced firsthand. Such guardians and as the elegans created, both living and unliving, were surely no less capable of repelling intruders than these poor creatures. And we also know the story of the dragons now, so it's extra salty. I checked out Twitch from TNE's YouTube. Like, their Twitch, I'm assuming. <laughs> Tell me something, Alize. Have you not managed to determine by whose will Bahamut exists? No, I have not. At first, I assumed that Bahamut had no people of its own. That the Elegans had perhaps discovered a way to simulate prayer itself. However... Nail's words gave me cause to reconsider. Specifically, the Shade's mention of Bahamut's beloved children. From that, I inferred that the primal is given form by the will of worshippers, whom we have yet to... And the penny drops. Oh. God, strike me down for a blind fool! Bahamut's beloved children, right there before my very eyes... How could I be so stupid? Who else but the dragons of Eld would summon Bahamut? Who else but they could sustain him? 
And to think I wondered why the elegance kept them imprisoned here. Even should the flame of Bahamut's life go out, his faithful children would summon him back. For this reason, the Alagan Empire kept an army of dragons here in perpetual state of duress, that they might sustain the primal's existence. Truly, the Alagan's ingenuity knew no bounds, and neither did their cruelty. Small wonder that Bahamut was so enraged. Let no one deny that it was man who sowed the seeds of the calamity. As usual. Will you now turn your hatred towards our own kind, dear sister? You should. Do not patronize me, Alphano. I merely acknowledge our guilt. Which is true. Lest you be in any doubt, I have no intention of allowing Bahamut to lay the world to waste, regardless of the atrocities the Alagans committed against his kind. We have no choice but to gain items in our inventory, apparently. We have no choice but to eliminate all who worship him, be they his children or his thralls. It seems reasonable to assume that the system responsible for the primal's re regener regeneration is also responsible for sustaining the captive dragons. If we disable it, all should perish. Let us press on. It's true. You didn't have to tell me that you stream on Twitch. I just figured it out in a very strange and confusing way. As long as you figured it out, it doesn't matter, right? Then they raid at your stream at the end and you were so great. Aww. There's a few people that stuck around from t &E. Normally people don't really stick around from raids, I'll be honest, but... Um, they did from t &E, often enough, actually. I discovered you from the Immortality video? Really? I watched a lot of videos by now, so I'm a bit confused which was the first. Well, I'm glad you're watching multiple. How about that? Let's see, this is the fi this is the final one, right? Yes, it is. Here, you can, you can shove it over there. Oh! Ah! Thank you. Ooh. Hot tea. It's on my throat. <laughs> Because he makes YouTube videos that are easy to binge. Thank you, Raven. <laughs> I aspire to make videos that make everyone like whatever I make. If that makes sense. As long as you vibe with my sense of humor. I have no idea what to do with this. I'll take a left. You take a right. I'm assuming that you have to do both sides. I'm just making that assumption. I'm assuming that everyone else is gonna come into the middle too. Yeah, they are, okay. I'm gonna say, that just seems reasonable. Oh. Do we have to stand on things? Is this gonna load? It is, okay. It just loads. Okay, I'll take a left again. It did vibe with your sense of humor. <laughs> I thought at first, when I made my first few YouTube videos, I was like, oh, people are gonna think I'm so cringe. But I like my cringe, so I uploaded it anyway. So I was like, well, then I'll just collect people who like <laughs> yes. Oh, we have to do one. Yeah, so we have to go to each side. And then we can open this. That makes sense. Jinzi makes top tier quality videos. Like, some things I'm not particularly interested in or unfamiliar with, and I still love them. I hope so, because the next one is like. The next one's technically like a really depressing topic. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and make it palatable. What are you doing there? Are you playing with the cats? Oh, you are. <laughs> hmm. I did find Jinzi here first. It's okay, whatever, whatever order you find me is totally fine with me. Another dragoon? Oh, that's an interesting looking one though. We, we kind of are, core, Because, like, we're in a crashed Dalamud, right? We have been since the start. We've had- we've been in crashed Dalamud from the very start. 
do 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 Sir, I'm slowed. Ah, oh, I thought I could <laughs> I thought I could kill him with that. Oh Cat food Oh wait, is everyone dead? Oh everyone is dead. Wait, why are we dead? Here, come back. I was like, hmm. That's weird. <laughs> oh, are you I don't know what's happening to it right now. Oh, it's invulnerable. How are you supposed to uninvulnerable it? I don't know. Are you invulnerable forever now? I think they are invulnerable forever. What are you supposed to do with this? Are you supposed to stand here? Maybe. No? I don't know what you're supposed to do. Did we miss something? Did we miss something horrible? Energy fields no longer deflecting ranged attacks? What does that mean? Oh, it's only physical attacks? Is that? Yeah, it, my magic does nothing. I think it's just physical that can kill it. Oh, that would have been awkward. Okay, I can still, I can do this. I can auto attack, I'm helping. Look at me helping. <laughs> Okay, a little bit further away. Then I'm helping. It's too many platforms in Final Fantasy for me, 14 for me to fall or get knocked off. Especially if you're a Dragoon or a Red Mage, because you can yeet yourself off the platform. That's our specialty, in fact. Wow, okay. That took a while to figure out. What does this do? All attacks are dealing critical damage? Oh, dang. Okay, that's probably not a good thing. Oh, never mind. You're dead. Whew. That one worried me for like two seconds. This dragon's design is far superior to the one in Persona 5 Strikers. But does he have funny underwear? I'm just saying, I don't think he has funny underwear. And that's, that's a loss. To me, funny underwear, it adds so much. A ring of slaying. I like how you see, like, your partners in the background just slowly waltzing along with you. Why, this looks like a model of Dalamud, yes. Is it? For millennia, Bahamut must have gazed at his this unchanging view, trapped inside a prison that was scarcely large enough to contain him. Unable to move, denied the release of death. How his hatred for man must have burned. I mean, have you met his wife? And that hatred found an ideal vessel in Nail Van Darnus. In many ways, Bahamut is to be pitied, not loathed. But knowing the true extent of his fury, I am more convinced than ever of the necessity of our endeavor. She has bloodlust on the mind, and it never left. This is my third cup of tea, and so much water. In an effort to get my throat to not die. Besides, his is not the only soul that cries out for revenge. That's a bit dark, Alizé. Eh? I love how I get, like, the items. <laughs> items in the middle there. A literal water tank. Honestly, I would not be surprised. We're almost there, kids. We're almost there. I wonder if we can do the last one with three of us. We'll find out. You will find. There are so many kinds of tea, Raven. You might get some at some point. Crawling in my skin vibes. I mean, that's kind of Alize, isn't she? She's growing. We get voice acting. Let me just. Beautiful. His size is staggering. 
I can scarce imagine how Grandfather stood against such a monstrosity. This cannot be allowed to proceed any further. Let us disable the coil and move on. Grandfather? No, that man is dead. I will not dishonor my beloved grandsire's memory by calling you such. I... I'm so... I, I, I'm sure that all the voice actors were, were great here as well, but I definitely prefer the new voice actors. It might have something to do with voice direction, I think, because everyone was... Everyone who voice acted in um, the first part of like, Realm Reborn is super talented, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down on voice, voice directing. You are but his twisted shape. The thrall of a mad prime. Made a mistake of trying French vanilla black tea first. I am so sorry for your loss. Really? You were foolish to disregard Ooh. my warning, child. Are you so convinced of your own righteousness? Well, at least a little bit. Tis the rightness of our path that led us to return. Eorzea will never be safe whilst Bahamut remains to threaten all we hold dear. What of the hero who gave his life in defense of the realm? Do you truly dispute the justice of our cause? My poor, ignorant grandchildren. Um. Your world is shaped by naught but recent conflict. Listen, and I will speak to you of justice. It was that. in the twilight of the third astral era. The southern land of Merasidia suffered invasion at the hands of the Alagon Empire. With no atrocity, too depraved for their purpose, the forces of Alig were unstoppable in their advance. Desperate for salvation, the dragons prayed to one of their first brood. To their ancestor Bahamut, infused by the power of their fervent supplications, Bahamut arose from the abyss of death and took wing as the Merasidian's newborn god. The Final Fantasy the game talks about. Yes, yeah, definitely. It's him. Yet this great miracle would only serve to further the maniacal designs of the dragon's imperial conquerors. The cruel fetters which bind my lord stand testament to the Alagons' boundless greed and hubris. Honestly, the Alagons did super suck. I once summoned the Twelve in an attempt to forestall the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. What then did the dragons of Merasidia do that I did not? Wherefore are they accursed and I exalted? Tis man's overweening belief in his own primacy that blinds him to the commonness of his condition and the truth of his own tyranny. I'm getting some Agent Smith vibes here. Can I say that? <laughs> You're nice, Danny. Slightly soft is okay. As long as man is suffered to remain, the dragons shall never be a Okay, but did he lie though? He didn't lie. Are we in medieval with magic era or everything is just technology? It depends on the Final Fantasy you're in. Like for example, Final Fantasy X is very much um, like they have advanced technology, but they're trying not to use it. And magic is almost always a thing or a form of magic is almost always a thing. In this case, there is, it's a mix of both. Only when the plague of people has been expunged shall the children of Lord Bahamut be free. Then shall the world know true justice. Again, did he lie? Stop it! Grandfather would never say such things. His belief that people were worth saving never faltered. He had faith in their strength that they could stand together and push back against the darkness seeking to shape them. Both, both is good. <laughs> it's all about Blitzball. Tis folly to place one's faith in so flawed a race. Okay, Smith. 
stand together. <laughs> they would first need to agree on which direction to face. If history teaches us anything, it is that man cannot find common ground between his own two feet. It's also because their tech is way better than ours, right? Even you, twins whose veins run with the same blood, struggle to fathom each other's reasoning. You hide your differing agendas behind the convenient banner of Eorzea's salvation. Given your obvious self-interest, can you truly claim no kinship with the oligarch? Well, and though I hi, hope Arwen. they might I'm bring you closer, it would seem that the twin grimoires I bestowed upon you were a wasted gesture. Yeah, because she's going to be a red mage instead. There may well be truth in your judgment of Alize and me. Because she's a red mage. It's such a one sided tirade. Bemoaning the evils of man rings false, coming from the lips of Archon Nuiswa. Yeah, because it's not you. Tell me, do you champion the cause of dragons because Bahamut compels you as his thrall? Or is it because you yourself have transcended the limits of man's existence? Oh, why is she shocked ah, by that? So the possibility did not escape your notice. Oh no, he was smart. What I prayed for, and what I have become. These are the keys that unlock the truth behind Eorzea's rebirth. If you would have them, then you must needs take them by force. Come. Rend this divine form asunder and claim your answers. You faced your axes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a phoenix now. I feel like that's cheating. Also, I think he uses the same model. Oh, he has? Oh, he's a, he's a whole primal? Okay! I thought he'd just take a form, but that makes sense, actually. <laughs> it is difficult, I know, but you must accept it. That entity is no phantom or imposter. It is our beloved grandsire. Wait, then, but how, did, how though, then? How did that happen? Did they, did somebody summon him, did Bahamut summon him back? Like, how did you summon him back? Weird. Uh, a lot of people. And Rihanna, a lot of people. Too many people, perhaps, at this point. Sorry, I'm moving a lot, but that's because th that's just kind of what I do. I'm sorry. Oh, you're invulnerable? Of course you are. That was uh, probably something we should have expected. <laughs> Your small bird didn't do anything. Do something, big bird. Oh, does it become a bigger and bigger bird? I think it does. There's an explanation after the fight? Okay. Oh, now you're good, right? Yeah. I like this music. It's kind of melancholy. Honestly, it's kind of melancholy. Killing the boss too quick. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Okay, so explain yourself, grandfather. You're not so tough. Oh, my character looks sad. Understandable. Ah, oh, no, don't examine myself. Is there anything interesting? What do you look like? Not really. Bye. Grandpa weak. Grandpa try too hard. Grandpa all talk. <laughs> Grandpa? 
grandfather is truly gone this time. But better it end this way than the alternative. Right. Also, if she comes around again, Maverick, I'll give her a candy. Don't worry. I am yet here, Alice, my dear, sweet granddaughter. Are you normal now? No, yes, maybe. I must thank you, warrior of light. Without your valor, I might never have broken free of Bahamut's control. I think Armin might have heard. These last few moments are mine. To live as the man I once was. Oh, she went down. Never mind. <laughs> this is all that I wanted. Yet, now that it is happening, I find myself struggling to believe it. Is it really you? That's warrior of darkness to you. <laughs> I'm both. Both. Warrior of twilight. I am the twilight princess. Wait, but we have one more fight. Don't we? Isn't there another coil? Grandfather, I have, pray I forgive me my insolence. It was not my intent to demean you. Well, it wasn't really him at that time. He was controlled. You. <laughs> I am proud of you, child. You were wise enough to deduce the manner of creature I had become. Yeah, there's one more. I guess we'll see. Alfino, Alize. If any here should beg forgiveness, it is I. Grandfather, I must ask, will you not tell us what befell during the calamity? Please, exposition me. Yes, Danny, sorry, Danny. Yes, yes, of course. You have come far to hear the truth. Let us then begin the tale at the Battle of Cartano, where clashed the forces of the Galian Empire and the Eorzean Alliance. Twas there in the sky above the surging armies that the elder primal Bahamut broke free of the Red Moon Dalam. In an effort to contain this avatar of the Yeah, one point oh. I called upon the twelve to aid me in the creation of a prison of ether. But Bahamut would not be caged by such feeble bars. Too vast was his might, too fierce his prey. How did he die in the first place? Because I don't remember if he's as powerful. How did he die? I forget this. I swear I knew this at one point. Little choice remained to me. I use the last of my strength to entrust our hope unto the future, and prepare to meet my end. But? But then what? Remnerborn's opening cutscene wasn't how he died though. Like, I mean the original, right? I don't mean the summoned one. I mean the original Bahamut. The real Bahamut. Real cutscene. They just killed him? Just like that? This is some Dragon Ball nonsense right here. Get him, Goku! Spirit Bomb! Is that when he turns into a phoenix? Oh. 
Oh dang. Did he just yeet himself straight through him? He did, didn't he? Oh, and then he died. And then he got resummoned, I guess? By whomst? <laughs> I thought he just got imprisoned. No bad! <laughs> Falcon Punch! Raise your hands! Believe in Goku! Little pieces of Luisa. Chubby <laughs> <Joey> boots! <laughs> Wait, but then how did he become a phoenix after that? As Hi. you have no doubt surmised, I did not perish. You didn't? When the cage built from the essences of the Twelve was destroyed, the sky was filled with a colossal cloud of ether. This drifting energy responded to the prayers of those fighting below and to my own desperate wish oh. that the dying realm be saved by infusing me with the power he of wished primal. himself into a primal. I became the immortal Boy. phoenix, ancient symbol of rebirth. <laughs> That's kind of cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> Rising into the sky, I struck Bahamut with all my newfound strength. The blow shattered his earthly form, and a shower of ether rained down upon the land. Thus began the rejuvenation of Eorzea. Believing the deeds true, done, Eliza. I relinquished my hold on that staggering energy, desirous that it should be returned to the realm without delay. But that didn't happen. But I had not reckoned on Bahamut's tenacious will, even as he teetered upon the cusp of oblivion, the dragon reached out to claim me. Oh. Alas, within my vast fading form, enough remained of the phoenix's energy to offer Bahamut a hold, and he dragged me along in his way. That is extremely metal. And thus began your existence as the Elder Primal's thrall. The head tattoo is actually something that just ha- that's it's an Archon thing? Like, every Archon has one? Which is also why- oh no, that's spoilers. I'm not gonna say anything. Anyway, yes, every Archon has one. <laughs> Phoenix is basically reborn incarnate, he is. Uh -huh. And now we killed I him, I cannot help but wonder at his will to survive. Though he was all but obliterated, Bahamut found a way to seize the power you surrendered. That would explain why part of his physical form survived to be entombed underground. It would also explain why Eorzea was so terribly warped. Even as the land sought to restore itself, the returning flow of ether was cut off. Ah. I don't know. I, I know that the some players from before, like old, old players that continue playing, they have a tattoo. I don't know if it's the same, though. Alagans killed the original Bahamut. Some dialogue in Azizla, both in Heaven's Ward and Shadowbringers, covers it. Like, just with, like, powerful weaponry or something? Because that seems... If he's so powerful, it just seems so odd that he's just killed that easily. Legacy tattoo is different than the Archon tattoo? Okay, never mind. I said nothing. <laughs> ah, very good. When his grip on existence was once again secured, Bahamut did not cease his feast until he had consumed every last mote of ether that yet floated in the air. Surprise! And still he was not fully restored. You must remember that by this time, much of the freed ether had already returned to the land. That which remained was not sufficient to reconstruct so massive a form in its entirety. But there did not need to be. Not for a being sustained by the marvels of Alagon technology. As long as some piece of Bahamut persists, the coils will seek it out and continue their regenerative task. That sounds very vampire. <laughs> the fragments of Dalamut 
appear motionless from the surface. But deep beneath the ground, they had been searching, tunneling through rock and soil towards their escaped prisoner. And, as you have observed for yourselves, they found his heart. And it all still works somehow. Don't think he goes into a specific, just hints that both sides were being influenced by the Asians. Oh yeah, that part I definitely know. Always Asians, you know? It always Warrior starts with an A. Of light, heed me. You must put a stop to Bahamut's regeneration. Okay, so that's the final coil then, is to stop the regeneration. Whether it be for man or for dragon kind, the question of justice is irrelevant. The Elder Primal will leave naught but a smoldering wasteland for both his children and ours. I beg you to defend Eorzea and guide its people to the future they yet struggle to Could find. Midgard Zomer defeat Bahamut if he woke up? Could he? Could he? Could Omega defeat Bahamut? I feel like he could. I feel like he could. I think I feel like both like Midgard Zomer would also stand a chance, but I think maybe he used too much of his ether at this point. I feel like he could. I'm I'm Elzen, yes. I'm the troll Elizen lad. Final coil is wild, you'll have a blast, will I? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Am I gonna seal Bahamut? That's what it was designed for? Oh, well then you could probably kill him as well, right? Alpha would obliterate him, uh, Bahamut. Together. I think in the lore they teach Zande how to use Omega to imprison Bahamut. Yeah, so if you have control of the Crystal Tower, you can control Omega. And then you can this basically kill Bahamut if you want to. We'll take you to the final internment hulk. Tis time. For the tale of Bahamut. Alpha has not shown us all the secrets. The calamity to come Let's be to honest, Alpha has end. so much more of his sleep. He's gonna come back at some point, because I know that like at the end he just like leaves. He's like, oh I'm gonna go on an adventure, but ooh, there's more to this. Are you wearing horns somehow? I am, yes. I'll show you which ones. There's a, there's a bunch of different Alfino. horns, if you want. Alize. Pray. Come closer. Granddad, our dad still sucks. Just so you know, your your son is a dick. Your hopes and dreams must no longer be an extension of mine. You must needs find your own reason to fight for this realm. Your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that for me? Of course, Grandfather. I have already made it my mission to see this newborn Eorzea survive and flourish. And I want to be a red mage! Yay! <laughs> like, I don't know what I want. <laughs> While I was yet enthralled to Bahamut, you spoke of my faith in man's strength. Know that your words reached me, in prison, though my soul still... You should wanted. become a public speaker. It's kind of strange to see how much quieter chat is with so many people having gone to bed or asleep. I know, I'm I'm talking you all to sleep. Have, are you having a good night? I've been streaming for 11 and a half hours. We're all tired. <laughs> we will kick the father's ass. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. It's supposed to be heart rowing, but it's a tiny bit creepy because of his face. It's very static, so isn't it? So forceful was your conviction. I wonder if that belief has what? not become your own. <laughs> Perhaps, after all your anger and sorrow was spent, you found something greater with I'll be honest though, most of the time people don't really talk when I play Final Fantasy XIV. So there's that. But it's, ne it, it's never fun when someone points out that chat's quiet. Obviously it always makes you feel bad, but I know that certain games just don't really have people talking often. Final Fantasy's one of them. So is Gwent, which is why. <laughs> Even with this voice, Lander. Hmm. Because I had coffee See this morning. This fight Fair to enough. its culmination. Tis also your strength in which I have faith. And to be honest, like um, I've also like I've been streaming for twelve hours. I think if I if I wasn't streaming and I would just be up for twelve hours, I wouldn't be tired either because I'd be relaxing, right? I'd just be I'd just be chilling. 
just calmly chilling. People don't want to say too much or spoil their stuff. For everything. Pray, take your rest, grandfather. You deserve it. I guess he can't really hug. I guess he's ethereal. Is he ethereal? He is. I think he is. No, is he? Never mind. You could hug. There are records of an art that allowed one to summon the power of a primal from the essence of its demise. Are you gonna tell me about something? Oh, that happens too, Danny, but no, that's not the main reason. No, no. I, I don't like streaming card games specifically because I like talking to people, and nobody ever talks when I play card games. Even though you get like a weird amount of viewers, especially on Gwent, but it's just so boring for me to stream if no one talks. So, I don't stream it anymore. And though I am no true primal, all that I have left, I give to you. You get plus 10 levels. Alvino, Alize, my darling grandchildren, may Light's blessings ever keep and protect you. Ah, It's really good that Alvino came with. That would have been awkward otherwise. Like, yeah, Grandad left. It was really wholesome. Sorry you weren't there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I have muscles? He's the model and was privy to a lot of background work. Worries and effort that goes into it. Most of the worries were. Our task remains undone. That it do, buddy. I'm so glad this was voiced. <laughs> I always wondered if mod a channel would get paid by the income of the specific streamers uh well no because most streamers don't really make a lot of money like that's the thing if you're if you're really big then yes there's a few really big streamers that i know pay their mods but um most streamers live paid paycheck to paycheck so it's not really something you want to do wait can we enter immediately is that it are we already out out oh i guess we are i guess we are oh we are Okay. You're not allowed to spoil it in chat. You're not. No, you're not. But it's that's also why I'm gonna slowly do Endwalker because I don't want to spoil things for people that play it. At least mostly I don't. <laughs> My default would be neat or bad. Um, if Twitch, if Twitch didn't suck, maybe. Sorry, but maybe. Post the Bahamut on Discord because it looks so good. He's a big lad. It was a long and arduous road, but at last we reach its end. Lots of people would, Eliza. Like, mainly I want to stream it because I know that a lot of people want to see my reactions to stuff. Because I didn't stream uh, much of um, Shadowbringers. I didn't stream all of it. And a lot of people were asking me about my reaction to certain things. And I was like, well... You know, I cried, <laughs> but um, but you didn't see it because I didn't stream it. So, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm obviously not going to stream it when people still want to play it themselves, which is why I'm going to do it somewhat slowly. Which yes, is going to take every ounce of my self control, but I'm going to do it for you, for you. Um, probably actually Launder, kind of the opposite for me, uh, specifically because of spoilers, like not everyone uh, goes fast and they're trying to avoid spoilers, and I totally get that, because I'm the same. But yeah, I do want to stream it. <laughs> Did I miss talk about mods? Yes! A lot of it. Consistently. Oh, it's not going to be that easy, dude. It's not where it is. My voice is going, going, gone. See? He's mad. I'm sorry, are you firing your laser? He is not yet whole. I did not think him capable. And yet... Did he just final flare us? Boy. 
Alize! Alize! I can see the light. I had thought it finally over. We'll not survive another blast. It's okay. I'll do something? Am I doing something? No? I'm not doing something. No. Is this how I honor my promise to grandfather? You must needs find your own reason to fight for this realm. Your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that? I know, Eliza. It really kind of does. I still like it. I will, grandfather. In fact, I believe I already have. Kicking ass. Forever. That reason has been with me all along. Guiding me. Eorzea's blade of light, shearing through endless shrouds of darkness. I have been shown the miraculous feats of which we are all capable. Of which I am capable. Bahamut, you have wreaked enough havoc. I will not let your wrathful fires consume all that we know and love. She's evolving. I know, Loneliest. I like that they get so much more to do later. She's like, I know I'm like a scholar or whatever, but uh, here's protect anyway. <laughs> How long I have waited to hear you say that. You have found your resolve at last. Are you going to press the button? You're going to do it. Some wonder twins. Let me they join my they are. To yours. Aren't they? Aren't they kind of the wonder twins? I think so. In this place. In this moment, our purpose has become one. See, they're bonding. Once it gets fleshed out, exactly. It takes a while. It takes, but it gets there. I love these two, honestly. Alize is honestly one of my favorite characters. Just for everything. She's extremely stubborn. Maybe that's why I kind of relate to her. They are. The books, because they're... Uh, Scholars and or summoners, a little bit of both, and that's their weapons. For the future of Eorzea! This last task is yours, warrior of night. You must destroy Bahamut's crystal core. Which one? There's three of us here. Arcanist. Oh, they just never got a second job? <laughs> oh, dang. And that's even more impressive, technically. Oh, we're floating. Are we fighting in the core? Or we're fighting in the core. Hold on. Does it make you want to play Final Fantasy XIV, Danny? Does it? <laughs> I love how uh, we're pretending that there's eight people here. <laughs> there's like the three of us like, hi. <laughs> big boy, big lad, big lad. Very large lad. I always really like his wings. So serpentine. The dead along the way. Oh no. That's that's doubly sad. Okay, I feel like there has to be at least one other. There's gonna be at least one other phase, right? At the risk of that. Yep, <laughs> there is. Whoops. Well, rip. Oh, are you gonna go to where you are? Oh, it's Twintania. Another one. I guess if you touch the side, you die. 
as in Twintanias. That would make sense. I hope there's not another one then. <laughs> Here, have another one, just in case. I don't see another Twintania, so I guess, I guess not. We went too fast. Oh, hello. Muhammad has not skipped chess day. Leg day, however. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it anyway, Danny, until it happens, and you know that. I will never stop. the important ones they always have lyrics heaven's ward anybody heaven's ward some can boryak some some hats work if i recall a really cool transition around 25 percent not sure if you can dps too much and miss it okay i guess we'll see oh there is trintania let's not get wrecked by her Come back to us, Cor. I'll be the first to know. Good. Good, good, good. A storm of Mericidia, or like also Twintania, I guess? I'm guessing that's just Twintania. Boja all over again. Oh, buddy! What if I agree with Bahamut? Can I find those twins with books? They're nice! How could you? I mean, yeah, probably. I still, one day, I do want a game that will just allow me to be horribly evil. Just to join the side of evil. Literally join the side of evil. No game so far has successfully done that. To actually make me feel evil. Ever? Not even Overlord. Overlord was just... Mm, okay, I guess. Oh, I thought he would be dead in one shot, I'll be honest. I reckon we're getting a lot more hats and hairs for Viera for 6.0. Rothgar is going to take longer. I feel so bad for Rothgar players. Because I feel like they've been underappreciated. The bunnies get uh, male bunnies now, and Rothgar is still just there like... Yeah? What about us? Oh, am I going to die this time? I guess I'm going to die this time. No? Oh, he does a- he does a thing too. Oh, good for me! d, &D evil campaign? Yeah, that's like- that's like the only way we could do that. Overlord was too slapsticky. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Oh, are we gonna stand here? Okay. Oh, flare dampening. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We'll go there. Oh, is evil in Dungeon Keeper? I guess so, yeah, Dungeon Keeper! Does it kinda count? Kinda counts. A little bit. At least Pathfinder does a pretty good job with evil options, especially with the mythic paths. Fable has done it best for me. And what does Fable do? Okay, I want to see the cool transition. Are you going to do a cool transition? Well, I think he's just going to kill me. I guess he doesn't care. Maybe this was the cool transition. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, that was the cool transition. Okay, but you have to tell me these things. I don't know things. I will look up Pathfinder though. I think I've heard of Pathfinder before. That's something that I would like about it. It's evil options in Wrath of the Righteous after putting up with the introduction. I like how my face is just smiling. I look a little bit evil there, actually, speaking of. We instant kill everything. Well, we were level 80. What are we gonna do? I'll be three tank or you die. Was this one of those, really? Setting. I know there's some games which I can be bad evil in, but I can never seem to be able to commit. They're, they're never doing the fun evil. They're always doing the depressing evil. We don't like those. We don't do those. Do those actually look cool? Oh, that one looks kind of cool. That one doesn't look bad. I don't care about that one, no. Or that one. Or that one. We're gonna get another. Hi, Lush. Yeah, for another, like, 19 minutes-ish. You can always queue healer in Final Fantasy and not heal. 
Just be the DPS healer you were always meant to be. I didn't realize that was the one. What do I know? Only Omega left to do before Endwalker, if you don't already- yeah, I've done Omega and Alpha, like, I've done that entire quest lane, but I know that a lot of people haven't. A lot of people in our group haven't done it yet, so for the people that are kind of there, um, I do want to run it at some point. I want to commit crimes, but like, fun crimes, you know? They never let me. I did it. Well, we did it. <laughs> you know what it is. To be a truly evil character, you have to have the option to be good. You have to understand the suffering you're causing without moral compass. You're not evil. You're just a beast. Okay, well then let me be a beast. God. You did miss a lot, but it's okay. There's lots. You get to be a professional thief in Skyrim. I do like that. Omega is basically killing old Final Fantasy bosses. I really enjoyed them, though. Especially the train. Even if we couldn't suplex it. I still enjoyed it. Who am I looking at? I mean, he's still kind of there, I guess. Is his heart going to stop beating? Or do we still have to push the button? I must kill Chaos Core! Suplex the train! It's so funny that you can do that. One task remains. <laughs> You know, we can meme Chaos all we like, Cora, but I'm still kind of looking forward to the game. I, I'm kind of looking forward to the game still. Is there anyone still playing who can clear O11 Savage? Every group I put together just just doesn't get it. With this last coil disabled, there shall I mean... be no more to bind Bahamut to this world. His beloved children will finally know peace. I mean, who needs it anymore? Who needs it that knows how to do it? That's, I think that's the question. I think not a lot of people really get anything out of it anymore. So then they just don't do it, I guess, unless they want glamour? I did eat! I had a break where I turned on uh, my latest video for 44 minutes and I had sushi. Also, they messed up our sushi. We ordered like dragon rolls and they were the size of like my fist. And they had pieces of like, this was the sushi. And then this much of it was avocado and i shit you not like i could barely fit it in my mouth and i have a big mouth i have a big mouth i just hope you know i'm not bad memeing i'm memeing because it's good i know i know i'm, I'm looking forward to it I really can see myself falling in love with the story of final fantasy 14. you will if you thought if you thought this one was like what do you say in english pulling on your heartstrings then, yeah, for sure, for definitely. From Hanami? Huh? Jack is so based in that game. Uh, I've not really seen much about it. I made the mistake of looking as Party Finder last night. That was pure evil. What was in the group finder? What happened? What did Mouth do? Well, apparently eat giant sushi. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I don't know. We've got the three mounds, include all the other Omega Savages, but 11 is apparently harder than 12. I guess you can always come back to it in the next one. I guess it depends on how they do the, the stat squish. Because there's going to be a stat squish again, right? It's going to be weird. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be better off or not. Hmm. We turned his lights off! Oh no, he turned his lights on. Never mind. Yeah, I'm wondering how much squish it will be. I'm wondering, I'm wondering how it'll affect old content. I like doing old content. When's my next Witcher lore? Uh, none on YouTube. I don't do it on YouTube anymore. It was actually the December video is gonna be Witcher related. Um, but I only do like Witcher facts on TikTok at this point. That's why I'm trying to clear it now. This might be the easiest it will ever be. That's true. I, I kind of see where you're going from there. Guy, don't do Witcher lore on YouTube anymore. People are dicks. I'm sorry, people are dicks. I said, I don't really enjoy the show, and then everyone sent me death threats, so I quit. That's the long and short of it. 
Witcher hype? Yeah, I still look I still really like talking about The Witcher though. So I made a TikTok. I just made it for the fun. And now everyone just watches my TikTok. <laughs> Nothing else. Very Witcher Christmas. It's a um it's technically a Patreon request. I'm not allowed to tell you who done. made it. He is truly gone. Like I swear, the only people who ever like say, yeah, it's okay if you name me are Coolstar and Septic. Or rather, they don't specifically request I don't name them. But yeah, they requested a Witcher video, and I was like, oh, um, yeah, I can do that one. Um, so, so that's a Witcher video. Um, there's gonna be fighting in the comments, I can tell you already. I can tell you already. Yoshi said they will probably do a hidden buff workaround for the early days. That makes sense, actually. To make it not harder than it was. Oh, that makes sense. A buff for old content. Okay. Then it then it's okay. A differing opinion? Cannot be allowed. People, what a bunch of bastards. I know, I know. Um But yeah, we had it we actually we started off the stream talking about that. Um but yeah, I just didn't enjoy the show. I I, I even said, you know, go watch it if you like The Witcher, make up your own mind, because you know, do do what you want. I think it's competently made otherwise. But um, yeah, that was a, not a fun period in my life. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, that's why we don't do that anymore. But it's okay. We do fun stories still. Just not about the Witcher all the time. You knew, didn't you? You knew what grandfather had become. That's why he said it. I was not certain but from all i had gleaned it seemed a distinct possibility the scene <gasps> people describe of the battle of cartano was one of unimaginable devastation and tis through the combined prayers of the desperate and an abundant source of ether that primals are born i merely put two and two together yeah well alpha no i'm terrible at math so ha i'm always team yen i'm sorry no i'm not sorry Actually, funny you should ask that in relation to the videos. Whenever anybody asks me who I think girls should end up with, I always say Roach. Personally, I would marry Shani. Okay. Science can't stop me. I can't read. Exactly. That's me, but with math. Dandelion. You Your first. <laughs> that really nice looking lady with like the potion making. Hello. Well, however you stumbled across your theory, it was this revelation that made you wary of my attachment to Grandfather. Team Vasca, the water lords and I! <laughs> See, here's the thing. I love Yorvef. He is fantastic. I would never marry him. I would never even want to be in a relationship with that man. Imagine! Imagine! He does not have the emotional capacity to be in a relationship with anybody. Let alone me. I'm a child. Please. Think of Netflix adaptations where he said in Castlevania. I loved Castlevania, but Castlevania is also like the where the thing it's based off is like not that story heavy, um, and they cut a lot of the things that were in technically in the game. It's such a good show though. I think I think the last um, the last season was probably my least favorite. They kind of went balls to the walls for that one, but I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. I like redheads, so Tris. Yeah, Triss is not really a redhead. But you would think that if you've played only the games, right? I have a thing for the elf lady. I forget her name. There are multiple. Which roach? Both. Both. <laughs> I recently watched Death Note, the TV show, and they did a good adaptation. Wait, hold on. <laughs> My brain is firing in every direction when you say Death Note right now. I found the last season animation off compared to the rest in Castlevania. Then I learned it was a new animation team. Is that what it was? I was... Yeah, no, yeah, okay, I didn't... Same, same. I also thought the writing was more off. I did not enjoy the writing as much as it did in the previous season, but I still enjoyed it. Like, I cannot be mad. Death Note and adaptation never mix well. Yeah, I, I'm sweating over here. What do you mean? The TV show was acceptable. Was this the Japanese one? Because the Japanese one apparently did a pretty good job. Hjalmor or Ceres? Ceres. Always Ceres. I'd really like to have Life is Strange like statics, statistics for these choices to see where everyone stands. I'd be interested to know as well. I would. 
Most adaptations never work. Yeah. The anime TV show. You mean the original Death Note? The adaptation to the manga? You mean that one? <laughs> See you, Maverick. Have a good one. I'm blessedly going to bed soon, too. Thank you for sticking around for so long. I appreciate it. There have been so many adaptations of Death Note. I know, and whenever I hear it, I just... My heart stops. <laughs> it was some creepy-like harassment within the animation team. Oh, dear lord. Okay, wow, never mind. Never mind. I watched the real one, no clue about the animation. <laughs> they both, they both scare me, honestly. It's just like the manga. Okay, okay, I got you. you. That in my obsession, I would fall under his primal sway. Is that why you decided to Maybe. join us? Maybe. To pull me back, should I show signs of wavering? Maybe. Headed to bed, gonna be up for a two-hour drive at 3 a.m. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Come here, kin. Wait, where's the candy? Oh, Nyx has the candy. Never mind, I have this candy. It's a different candy. Arwen, you're owed a candy. Hold up. Yes. Yeah, you are. Nom 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 nom. Just did you still see that one, Maverick? I hope so. <laughs> Considering you're the one who did that. <laughs> Good night, Maverick. Sleep well. I'm kind of curious about the One Piece real TV series, which will come soon. Oh, we'll see. I don't. Anime adaptations with real people almost never work, especially when they're made by Americans. I'm so sorry. Pray forgive me, sister. I wished only to protect you. Yet I see now that I needn't have doubted the strength of your conviction. Actually, you needed both of you to make the shield, so you did. Is it also directed May by an Asian uh, director? What do you now intend to do with the truth you have uncovered? Become a red mage. Go on, say it. Become a red mage. Which particular truth was that, brother? The fact that desperate prayer gave rise to oh, the nice. phoenix? That this new god was responsible for setting Eorzea on the path to Maybe? rebirth? That's good news. Okay, well that brings more hope at least, Eliza. Live action Cowboy Bebop looks really good. Do I dare have hope? I'm not going to hope for anything. But I will watch it. And I'll cross my fingers while I do. <laughs> Should such a tale become common knowledge, people would soon offer up their prayers in earnest. They would beseech Phoenix to complete the healing that was begun. It's true. You should never tell anybody. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop, I feel like they have to be careful with not to mess up because they that has a big fan base. Karam is my waifu. Doggo. Yet as you and I know all too well, the very act of calling forth this savior would do more harm to the land than good. We cannot encourage such worship for this very reason. Were grandfather forced to return as an ether draining primal, it would undo all that he had worked to protect. Which is why we're not telling anybody. Your abiding love for him was the key that unlocked the truth of the calamity. But keys may also serve to seal doors that were best left Oh, unopened. there's the key metaphor again. Let your love now guide your actions, and lock away deep inside the fate of both Grandfather and Bahamut. Oh, oh I was gonna say, did you mean love? I don't hope not. <laughs> Dungeon is basically the perfect spike. I just hope it's directed well in that case, too. It's a really good anime, Danny. And it's actually not very long. If you are thinking, I think it's. I want to say it's it's on Netflix now, but I'm not sure. Yours, yes, seriously messed up. One hundred percent. No. Fear not. I understand what must be done. Which is never talk about it. It's probably and crunchy, probably yeah. for it to be saved. That the elder primal is banished to return no more. That is enough. And we blew it up. It was us. People do say the dub is good. I've never listened to the dub, but maybe it's time. I've, I've been wanting to rewatch for a while. Maybe now is the time. Let us make our way back to the surface. Poor Orionje must be beside himself with worry. He always is, though. Yeah, Crunchyroll's still around. We have Crunchyroll here. I actually don't have Funimation. It's not on Netflix. I, I'm pretty sure they announced that it will be. Like, they announced that it's gonna be on Netflix. 
Watch restaurants to watch restaurants to another world if people haven't. What is that about? I would pray for pancakes and unleash the pancake primal in the world. What about um the stay puffed marshmallow man? <laughs> and here we are again. After that descent into darkness, the desolation of Northern Thanalan seems paradisal. As promised, I shan't reveal the truth of the calamity to a single soul. However, the nations of Eorzea will require certain assurances that the threat of a new primal is gone. Kept in the dark overlong, it is only a matter of time before they seek answers of their own accord. Let us recommend that the fragments of Dalamud are sealed off, that the truth may rest undisturbed. Someone's going to keep digging. First, you must go and report to Uyanje. It would not do to keep him in suspense. I dare say we shall find him pacing up and down at the cerulean processing plant. Okay, I will, I will say hi to him before I leave. I'm not that mean. Yeah, I think I figured that most people would maybe have Netflix over Crunchyroll. We don't really have problems with uh, with Crunchyroll, but I know that Lovelet also has Funimation. Maybe we'll switch at some point. Restaurant to Another World is about a restaurant which travels through different dimensions. Oh, I like Slice of Life. I'll have a look at that, if we have that. Funimation bought Crunchyroll, so it's going to be a weird merge? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I guess we'll see how that works out. I did not know that. Hmm. Ah, the Warrior of Light returneth undimmed from the depths of darkness. By thy triumphant bearing, I take it thou hast succeeded in thy mission. Maybe I have, maybe I have. And yet thou art alone. Mistake me not, dear friend. Full glad am I of thy safe return. But where, pray, are Master Alvino and Mistress Alize? Like, somewhere behind me. There he is. There she is. Here, my friend. Forgive us our lateness. We took the scenic route. Bahamut is no more. The realm is safe. By the heavens, look at you! Have a bath immediately! What horrors your young eyes must have seen! What suffering your young bodies must have borne! Pray tell me, where are you hurt? Your wounds must needs be clean, cleansed and dressed at once! I shall make for you a poultice which draweth out! He's basically the mom. Be at ease, my friend. We're hale and whole, I assure you. Just dirty, I guess. We took a few tumbles, but the worst of our hurts are healed. I believe we have Grandfather to thank for that. Master Louis Soir, then you met him with him once more. Wherefore should Bahamut's thrall seek to ease your suffering? <laughs> it's true, loneliest, it's true. Udi evolved from caring mom to hot daddy. Well, it's like, that's because he teamed up with Thancred. He's like, okay, well, if there's two dads, one of them has to be the cool one. And I feel like, I feel like Thancred became the mom mom. So, you know, there we are. Urianje is just the cool mom. I promise to reveal all to you in due course, dear friend. But first, there is a matter which requires our immediate attention. And now that Bahamut is defeated, we deem it best to bar entry to all the fragments of Dalamud, unless this guy over here wants to farm for glamours. To this end, we will convince the nation's leaders that the danger is past and invite their cooperation in ensuring that the fragments are never again disturbed. Come, let us depart and seek an audience with them forthwith. A moment, sister. You need not burden yourself with this task. Uriange and I will more than suffice. Why do you not take this opportunity to rest? The gods know you've earned it. Oh. <laughs> they are, Luna, they are. With their, I guess... I guess they've adopted these two, but they've also adopted the, the girls. So they ha they're starting a whole family <laughs> of like six at this point. I don't know. Well, thank you, Energizer! I almost go to bed! I've streamed for 12 hours! Lads, lads, ladies, lasses, and non-binary pals! I've streamed for 12 hours. We're here, we're there, we've done it. Good for us! My voice died. I legit got soft knees and step on me vibes when I did Eden. <laughs> I know, she has those vibes though. She has those vibes. Huh. A whole year? Eliza! Cool Another Eliza! We have two now! I saw you were playing Hollow Knight. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Also, welcome back. Thank you for the resub. How did, how did you like it? A lot? Don't tell me. A lot? Of course you did. You streaming tomorrow? Of course I am. Jinsi does not miss her schedule. Restaurant to another world will make you hungry with all the food that looks almost like so much. There's a lot of anime food that makes me really hungry. 
It has good vibes, right? It's so mellow, so weirdly mellow. You did it. I did. I did. Lolius, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm a little bit proud of myself. I feel like now that I'm old, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> like it actually, it's <laughs> it's a pull. Just doing a casual random 12 hour stream. I have to. Twitch is making me. Twitch is like, bitch, either you stream 65 hours this month or, or you can go to hell. So here we are. I'm not doing this next month, by the way, because I know I said, I said I was going to have to do this every month, but I can't do it, man. I will die. I will genuinely die. Keep distracting her with anime. I do want to finish, I want to finish the quest. I'm filling out my hours, yes. You're not old at all. Am I hollow? Am I? I don't know. You're not older than 22 at max. I'm 31. You knew that. You knew that. <laughs> I know. I know it is. It's because my previous schedule, Eliza, was like 130-ish. 130 135 hours a month or something. And then I went down to like a lot less. It's my fault. I did this to myself. Oh, thank you, Hush. We told her just to stream an empty chair and we'd watch, but she's too serious about her work. Here's the thing. I can't do that. Y'all be sad if I do that. Don't lie, you would be. Twitch is what- I know, I know. I, I didn't even know, because they never emailed me about this. I had to look it up myself and I was like, oh. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> Why did Twitch yell at you for hours? So, the thing that happened is that they changed how much people pay for subs, depending on what country you live in. Um, so that means that I make a lot less money either way. Like, I will continue making less money either way, but for the first few months, Twitch is like, okay, if you stream a certain amount of hours, then um, we will basically cover it for you. We'll cover the difference for you for a little while, um, but then you have to you have to make the hours, and it's actually quite a lot, so... Rip. <laughs> but it's okay, at least you got a 12-hour stream out of it. Can we be mad about that? I don't think so. She's 22, and then she's a, only a year older than me. Danny, sisters. I feel that I hit the 30 this year too. It, no, it's okay. Everything gets better at 30. <laughs> okay, some things don't, but most things do. Most things do. Because Amazon is a corporate monster, it needs to implode in itself? Yes. Sleeping stream, just me in the bed, just watching anime or something. <laughs> I think it's time. Also, actually, before I do anything else, if you want, like, the mellow stream, you enjoy those if you enjoy mellow streams mellow is hell but with really good gameplay because eliza's good at like every game she picks up like she picks up a game and then she's just suddenly good at it it just is kind of she's pro gamer that's what happens if you would like that and she has the most mellow voice in the world go and check out her stream she does like horror stuff she does soulsborns like anything that is difficult she will pick up everything that's maybe has a chance to scare her maybe a little bit she will pick up and then it won't scare her but at least you'll have a really good time so it still works out. It still works out. My core sleep all, buddy! I'm sorry, I will also be off to sleep very, 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 very soon. Know how many people do sleeping streams? Would they watch? Would they watch, though? I wouldn't be talking. ASMR. <laughs> I would be terrible at that, and you know I would be. I'm fine, brother. Besides, you've been through as much as I have. Well, that's not entirely true. Oh, I see now. You would play your game of diplomacy and wish me out of the way? Yes. No, I... Naught could be further from the truth, Alize. <laughs> Don't kill me, sister. I, I know what, I'd lurk on my own stream. Is that is that cheating? Maybe. As far as Amazon would know, I'd be watching all of the time. There is a market for sleeping. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry, that's Patreon Kofi only. <laughs> My lady, does my earnest belief that your brother hath your best interests at heart. You have more than done your part, and he desireth but to relieve you of your burden, he might easily bear alone. Yes, that must be it. That's what he meant, for sure. Means you had is always fun. Unless I'm playing, um, card games. It's a- there's a whole category for it? Okay, I have to question it. I'm sorry, I have to. The stream Nick sleeping. Honey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wants to. <laughs> you don't want to hear me snore, right? Why That's true. He does. Snore, he does right? snore. I'm sorry. You would hear that. I think I'd feel creepy watching someone sleep. You would just a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit disturbing. Yeah. How is sleeping a category? 
I'm losing my mind. What? You just go there and you watch people sleep. See, I would understand if you're watching cats sleep. The cat cuddle sleep? Understandable. But people, though? People? No, please, no. I thought sleeping on Twitch was against Twitch's guidelines. I guess they changed it because everyone was doing it. I have some experience treating with dignitaries, you must allow. And as you never fail to remind me of my fondness for diplomacy, I feel it only right that I remind you of your aversion to it. I hate talking, she says. Then it is settled. Rianger, pray make arrangement for a chocobo carriage. I thought that said marriage for two seconds. The ride should give us ample time to prepare our story. Oh, make something up. Some have even alerts on, so you can try to wake them up. <laughs> oh, that's actually genius. People can't sleep, that's why people watch people sleep, so they can absorb it through their screen. Like, oh, I wish that were me. Avino! You still smell! Laka baka! Sorry. Though our paths are different, we share the same goal, do we not? Do we not? I don't know, do we? But of course, dear sister, that which we have just achieved together stands as a testament to that fact. Whatever path we choose to take, our hearts shall ever lead us to the same end. Of that I am certain. It's like Eden. Well, to be honest, Mukbang, I guess, exists for a reason. I'm gonna get some ice from your throat. Oh, you, oh, you are. Get me some, too. If everyone is consenting, yeah, do what you want. Sleeping stream with 500% volume, siren alert for $50. Okay, no, they, then they would have to pay at least a thousand, because that's loud as fuck, and I have neighbors. <laughs> Literally, all I do is quote TikToks nonsensically, don't apologize. I feel like ever since I started doing TikTok, I, I'm just quoting the weirdest things, and everyone around me is like, what are you doing? This is why I need more people to move over from TikTok to Twitch, so that some of you will understand. I consent to all of us getting ice cream. I'm gonna eat a cheesecake after this, even though I'm about to go to bed. Placements for mattresses have made it to Instagram. <laughs> we, have, we have collectively lost our mind. Collectively. Thank you. You're welcome. They walked off into the sunset. There is no sunset. Close enough. There is a place that I would visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? I don't know. It depends. I've done 12 hours. I kind of want to go to bed. What's your TikTok? Uh, it's still Gen Z, I think. <laughs> I, I say that now, but I'm like, is it? It should be. It shouldn't be Gen Z. Is it PB Gen Z? It might be PB Gen Z. It is PB Gen Z. So it's PB underscore Gen Z. Somebody type this in chat for me. Somebody who knows. There must be somebody who knows. First, I do believe a change of garments is in order. It won't take a moment. Or a bath? You don't want to have a bath? Thank you, loneliest. Didn't you want me to go over to TikTok to watch yours? Yes, well, you can do both. You can do both. <laughs> TikTok in my region is a wild forest for me with all the bad recommendations. All I get are memes. I just get memes. It's because I scroll past the worst, like, at lightning speed. <laughs> So I get a lot of My Hero Academia, Witcher, I get skits, a lot of skits, cooking videos, <laughs> you know. The landscape is the same, of course. There's no reason that it would be otherwise. Depends. How it would be poetic for the fragments to magically disappear, I'm well aware that they shall remain long after you and I are gone. Like tears in the rain. Something like that. A hundred nights trial sleeping streams. Would you watch? <laughs> what if I wore the chocobo onesie? <laughs> what about then? You never know. Isn't that right, Arwen? Yes. I just got allergies the moment she jumped up. Need to get a mattress deal and get a hundred nights of stream content. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I could have done several 12 hour streams. The world may change irre irrevocably, irrevocably, but life shall ever go on, as long as there are 12 hour streams. You get planned gay stuff, skits, and then strangely hoof cutting videos? I get those weird amounts too, Luna. I'll be honest. It's so funny, this one time I got a TikTok scrolling past, um, and somebody was like, 
Uh, why are all the My Hero Academia things I see, um, like, gay or bisexual or whatever? And the person in TikTok was like, if your entire For You page is bisexual, who's gonna tell him? <laughs> who's gonna tell him? <laughs> Let's take a closer look, shall we? We gotcha! <laughs> We'll watch everything. Everything? Ooh, you don't know what you're asking. <laughs> Still have Alexander and Void Arc left to do? Those are actually strangely easy, except for the one Alexander where you need to use the tank cooldown. That one's kind of weird, but everything else is really fast. I've no doubt that Alpha Nova will do an admirable job concealing the truth of the Calamity, and such truths as were revealed in those dark depths will never see the light of day. I myself agree that it must be so. I hear a butt coming on. <laughs> but. And now Xasha isn't here to do butts emotes. Unfortunate. For the thought that the people of Eorzea shall forever remain ignorant of their savior, of your deeds, the injustice of it is almost too much for me to bear. Girl, I have so many acolytes. Like, don't even worry about it. Everyone knows me as the hero. I'm fine. But Alex 3 at the moment? It's the only thing I did for the Boja weapon? Oh yeah, you did have to do that. Or you could do that, I guess. This is just reminding me of how not too long ago YouTube has an ad under videos was an Are You Gay quiz, Danny? <laughs> I don't think you need to take a quiz, do you? The algorithm always knows you better than you know yourself, like even when you haven't figured it out yet. Stealer of pants. Depends on the game. How can you kill a higher vampire? Only with another higher vampire. The other way, Regis won't tell us about. I know. He just doesn't tell us anything. How typical of you, Shota. Never the hero. Even so, I cannot deny that I feel better for your reassurance. No, seriously, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm really fine. Have you seen me? I'm fine. But I want you to know that I will never forget. You are the one who freed Grandfather's soul and saved Eorzea from Bahamut's wrath. Though these great deeds will never be remembered in song, the consequences will be felt forevermore by every soul who calls this realm home. Well, in part, it is remembered by Yoshi P's bard. A little bit. Put him in the sun and see if he sparkles. <laughs> if he sparkles, he's in the wrong franchise. And we eat him out. No. They've actually adapted to the sun. The higher vampire's there anyway. So is Eliza, so you know, vampires everywhere. I don't know YouTube, it's not like I kind of figured out my sexuality when I was 13, but they were like, are you sure? <laughs> yes, this is what we'll do. Four? What are we doing here? Oh, okay. For Grandfather, Nail, and the dragons of Mericidia, all those who were taken by the Calamity. Wholesome. That's when she was still pure. You know, like Danny. Only vampires in The Witcher can kill other higher vampires? Only other higher vampires can kill other higher vampires. Which is also why they made a pact never to fight each other. I, and it's funny because I talked about this in the YouTube, in my YouTube videos about vampires as well. Um, like, a, this is a theory, this is not a fact. But the theory I had is that they had a war realized that they were ever dwindling numbers and because they were now in the witcher world they had other problems to deal with so they stopped their war because there are several way like several forms of armor especially in the cave you have the red armor outside you have the black armor so you know in john cena style i know tiktok gave me a bunch of hot girls i guess it tries to say something to me like my entire for you page is like i don't have a single straight tiktok i swear to god I have never seen a straight TikTok. <laughs> You'd be like, it's been almost a decade. Do you want to check? Do you want to double check? Triple check? Eliza does sound exceedingly delightful because she is. You should follow her. She's in the chat. It's easy to click her and follow her. I'm just saying. How about the werewolves? They can't kill them. No, werewolves are actually weirdly weak in the Witcher worlds. It's so sad as well, right? Like, the Witcher vampires are really powerful and then the Witcher werewolves are just kind of there. They're just kind of there. Oh, well, thank you, Eliza. <laughs> thank you. If you're in Jinzi's stream, are you straight? 
high possibility of a no. <laughs> At long last, our struggle with Bahamut is over. For now. <laughs> See how long before pressing a five? Tom <laughs> Sophia becomes a reality. Yo, but it should be though. <laughs> That's my husband again. <laughs> I do like when you cosplay like a vamp. I'm gonna cosplay like uh, from Resident Evil 8. I'm doing my first playthrough ever from Resident Evil 8. This Wednesday it starts. And I, yo, you do not know how often I've had to run away from Resident Evil talk to avoid spoilers. Like you do not know, but I've just been running. I've been running. I, my, my Resident Evil 8 playthrough, I wanted to be unspoiled. And I'm gonna do it in cosplay. Fun times. Where do you get the contacts? I get the, the ones I use the most now, and Unique So. So that's U-N-I-Q-S-O. I used to get them at Primal, but I've had a few that were broken, so I don't get them there anymore. They're also a lot more expensive, so I just, I just don't. Which are also just vibing. Yeah, they're all cursed, and they just don't care anymore. I <laughs> will be watching. Okay, I will not be as good as you, okay? Because you... For people that don't know, Eliza is also uh, the person who did the... I talked about her before, the knife run person that I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna set like a record of some kind. I think it's... A, was it the second person to do like the hardest difficulty with just a knife? Something like that. I'm cosplaying as one of the sisters. I don't. I didn't think I could pull off um, Dimitrescu, but I feel like I could pull off a sister, so... It starts on Wednesday, hush. The realm, given new life through the new prayers and sacrifices of countless souls, may look to a brighter tomorrow. I have been streaming for an extra 18 minutes. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? When the dust of our adventure has settled, I shall embark on a journey. I mean to find my own reason to fight for Eorzea, and when I do, I will fight with all my being. As a red mage, by the way. Red mage. Not arcanist. Fiance wants me to send her some because you can't order them in the States for just casual costume things. Um, try and see if you can get it from Unique Soul. That's kind of weird that you can't. But you commit every time, Eliza. You commit every time. <laughs> uh, but, you, like, you did it. That's all that matters. You did it. Final Fantasy is that good. It's because the chat started talking to me. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God is what it is every time. You've done so much for me, Shota. One day, I hope to be able to repay you in kind. You are so sweet. I love you. I'm also adopting her, just so she knows. I've no doubt, but that you will continue to help those in need and grow ever, ever stronger in so doing. I'm gonna marry Emmerich, and we are adopting you. Because your dad sucks. I shall endeavor to do the same, and if the Twelve are kind, I hope one day to become a Yuzia sword in the darkness, as you are, or warrior of darkness, whichever. Come what may, you may rest assured that I will not be outdone by Alphano. That is that is her number one thing. I I don't want to be outdone by Alphano. I'm sorry, Raven. I'm sorry. Our aid was hard on easy difficulty already. Can't compute. Have I got the stream for you? <laughs> when next we meet. I promise that I will not disappoint you. You never do, my daughter. Till that day, fare you well, my friend. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. Same. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. I will. Let's say I'm sorry for distracting you with conversation, but I'm not really. It's late for you too, Danny. It's like, what the f- Eliza, go to bed. What the fuck time is it where you are? It's morning where you are kids. Nobody here gets sleep. Does anyone sleep in this chat? I don't think so. <laughs> we're, we're broken. It's fine. We're good. We're fine. 4.30? Y'all. <laughs> Eliza! Go to bed! You're, you're all awful. I've done... I've done a 12 hour and 20 minute stream. 12 hour and 20 minutes. It's fine. It's fine. I guess I've gone over the peak, so now it's a 24 hour stream. What can I say? <laughs> That's a joke. I'm not. <laughs> Nick, it, I Nick is like, mm. <laughs> I'm going to sleep now. Anyway, yes. Okay. Find your coffin now, then, Eliza, because technically it's 
pretty much day. It is pretty much day. <laughs> I am going to bed. Good gameplay usually not that entertaining compared to silly gameplay. So probably like you're... I'm gonna I'm gonna try and figure out the story before I get to the end. Wish me luck. We're gonna figure it out. But but on that bombshell, I am going to bed. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Still, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god. <clears throat> If my voice will allow it, have a very lovely rest of your morning, night, sleep. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. I super appreciate it. I had, I had a good time, even though my voice didn't. And uh, sleep well. Sleep, sleep well. <laughs> <laughs>